If you want to support our show directly, pick up some tickets to this year's Hometown Haunts and Hops Horror Convention, returning to Mayflower Brewing Company on Saturday, September 21st. We'll be celebrating the 35th anniversary of the legendary HBO series Tales from the Crypt with our marquee guest, the Crypt Keeper himself, John Kassir. As the only horror convention on the South Shore of Massachusetts, this one-of-a-kind event promises a spine-chilling experience, blending celebrity guests, live podcasts, ghastly decor, and of course, delicious beer from Mayflower Brewing Company. If you're a fan of all things spooky, this is the place to be. Tickets are available for just $25 at inebriart.com slash events. That's inebri-art.com slash events. And returning to sponsor Haunts and Hops this year are our friends at Halloween New England. HalloweenNewEngland.com is the website for the truly Halloween obsessed. With the most extensive guides to New England haunted houses, ghost tours, classic horror film screenings, jack-o'-lantern festivals, haunted hayrides, and more, they've got all the frills covered throughout September and October. With over 2,500 Halloween events and attractions listed, HalloweenNewEngland.com is the only place you'll find absolutely everything you need to make your Halloween season epic. Now, let's get on with the show. Tonight's episode of America's Hometown Horror is brought to you by our friends at Fangoria Magazine. That's right, the first name in fright since 1979 is now an affiliate of America's Hometown Horror. And because of that, we can now offer you an exclusive 20% discount on any first-time magazine subscription or merchandise purchase by heading over to shop.fangoria.com and using the code HOMETOWNHORRORPOD at checkout. That's shop.fangoria.com slash HOMETOWNHORRORPOD or just use the code HOMETOWNHORRORPOD at checkout for that exclusive discount on anything from Fangoria. Tonight's episode of America's Hometown Horror is also brought to you by our friends at Horror Facts Magazine. Never heard of Horror Facts Magazine? Well, if you're a horror fan, they're a name that you absolutely should know. You can find them over at horrorfacts.com, and they're a great resource for all things horror, including news, reviews, editorials, and lots of other horror podcasts, not only limited to, but including America's Hometown Horror. So head on over to horrorfacts.com and check them out. Now, let's get on with the show. Right. Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome back to another episode of America's Hometown Horror. My name is Mike, and come along with us as we hear no evil, see no evil, and speak no evil. Oh, wait. Actually, we're going to speak a lot of evil without speak no evil tonight. And uh, if you're interested in such things, here's where you can find us online. First and foremost, first place is our website, which is oppod.com. As everybody looks at me around the table right now and says, wow, Mike, you are really not funny at all. Uh, oppod.com. That's A-H-H-P-O-D.com. You can also find us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Just search for America's Hometown Horror. You'll find us. Um, Twitter, also X, whatever. Whatever. Fuck you. Uh, you can also email us at hometownhorrorpodcast at gmail.com, and you can leave us a voicemail at 508-927-1267. And of course, the most important thing you can do for our show is to give us a like and a subscribe and uh, leave us a review if you like the show, preferably a five-star review if you think we do a five-star job. Helps us get out to more horror fans just like yourselves. And last but certainly not least, thanks as always to our friend Sean O'Laughlin from Skywheel Media, who's now handling all of our audio and music production <laughs> and doing a damn fine job of making us sound great if I do say so myself and making us sound nice and purdy for you. And if you have a podcast that you're looking to take to the next level in terms of audio production, get in touch with us. We'll put you in touch with Shauna with Skywheel Media. Okay, now that I have all that stuff out of the way, again, my name is Mike, and I'm joined in studio by a whole gaggle of people here. Uh, I have all my co-hosts here on hand to talk about this happy-go-lucky, feel-good barrel of laughs tonight. That'd be Matthew, Kathy, Andrew, lady, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What's going on? How we doing? How's everybody feeling? How we Chilling. doing? Very good. Excellent. That's from South Park. I Relax. Know. How we feeling? Everybody feeling good. Yeah, boy. What's going on? Oh, you know. Just enjoying the spooky season. And so the far. beautiful crisp weather. Crisp. We're going to talk about weather again. Say, as yep. always. <laughs> Wouldn't be the start it's of America's nice hometown out, horror unless we uh, break the ice and get a little bit more loose while we talk it's about perfect the weather. It, yeah, it cooled off nice today. We were, we were out on the golf. The yeah. Golf field. It's been like a two-month stretch of just 
perfect. Yes. Weather. We had like one day where it was disgustingly hot. But mm. that was beautiful. So yeah. It's going to yeah. get hot the next couple of days. Don't, don't say that. that. No, it's going to. Don't speak no, I'm it telling you that it is. You know, it's been, you know what's been really cute no. to watch is the evolution of uh, Andrew and Matt's friendship into uh, now golf permanent friends. I feel like you guys golf at least once a weekend now. Yeah, it's I'd been like to once a week for a few weeks. God at bless you. Maybe I'm over a month. Godspeed yeah. to the both of you. He always wants to golf. So Yeah, I'll always golf. Andrew always wants to golf. And anytime you can get out to golf, I'm sure you want to golf. So yep. I completely understand. So guys, um, I did ask Shano to push this episode up for this week. So we actually are maybe recording an episode where it might be released in two days. So there might be some news in here. How oh, about oh that? No, I God. don't I don't have news. Oh. But what I was going to say is obviously the biggest piece of news coming in uh just about a week, less than a week from this episode, is uh the Hometown Haunts and Hops Horror Convention Part 2, Electric Boogaloo. Actually, that's isn't it three? I don't know. Whatever. The second year of Hometown Haunts and Hops is on hand very, very, very shortly, guys. And, um, <coughs> we have a lot going on. There's a lot to experience as a horror fan if you're coming to this event, uh, starting off with trivia hosted by all of us uh, at America's Hometown Horror on Thursday night uh, at Mayflower Brewing Company. We're going to be giving away some awesome prizes. We're going to be doing some... Um, Medium to very hard horror movie trivia, as usual, with some dope prizes to be won, including tickets to Hometown Haunts and Hops. Then Friday night, we have our film festival with two different films being shown downtown, in, in, downtown including the WNUF <laughs> Halloween special and Pennywise, the story of it. And then, of course, on Saturday itself, the big kahuna, the Hometown Haunts and Hops horror convention with our headlining guest, John Kassir, the Crypt Keeper himself, will be on hand to talk about Tales from the Crypt which is celebrating its 35-year anniversary. Guys, are we excited? Yes. It's a fucking hell of a schedule. Yeah, hell of a schedule. <laughs> hell of a model American. Uh, certainly feels like um, it crept on us, crept up on us very, very quickly. And um, I can't, it's already here. And holy shit, we have a lot, a lot to do. <laughs> yep, that Sunday will be a rewarding oh, day of relaxation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yep, I am looking forward to not getting off my fucking couch. Yeah putting Bridget down for a nap and watching football uninterrupted for several, yeah, several hours. Jawed. Yeah. Just want to have, <laughs> I want to have the, uh, the <coughs> sweet dulcet tones of one Scott Hansen mm. blaring into my eardrums yes. for eight hours of commercial free football starting now, including the witching hour and all of Scott Hansen's Scott Hansenisms. The Octo looking, Box. The Octo Box. I'm looking forward to the Octo Box, all that stuff. The dynamic kickoff. Yep. The dynamic kickoff. Football, football stuff here, guys, on America's Hometown Horror. Hey, how about a win by the Patriots? Let's go. Yay, yeah. hey, football. Fuck the Bengals. Sports right? ball. We are just, we are just, horror, we are just horror nerds. Yeah. We're football nerds. I Turns won out. money yeah. betting that the Patriots will win. Yeah. They're Good. the underdog. Uh, yeah. turns out that bucks. we are turns out that we are all in a fantasy football league together we're yes. all, uh, all of us together in one particular fantasy football league uh cat and matt uh, actually played each other in week one and uh matt, what happened in that uh, oh that cat talked a lot of shit and then uh <laughs> you? I won. You? <laughs> so yeah. i kept my mouth shut well mm -hmm. and you know what my congratulations matt i knew yep. i knew that like no matter on my i was like there's no way the jets they have a shit matchup and I was like, I'm, I, I lost it. And then by halftime, I was like, I'm going to bed. Yeah, like, I was like, <laughs> I lost. I lost. Big Bird got her wings but it clipped. Was, it Think, was so yeah. funny because, like, the day before, Seth was like, oh, just take out your defense. I'm like, no, because I still don't have enough points. Like, I need to have, like, two or three points or whatever it was. And yeah, I was you like, needed, you I needed, needed four. Yeah, and I should have switched my D. I almost did, yeah. but also, like, they said Jets D in the long run is probably a, a better choice, so don't drop them. And I was like, fucking God. I, yeah. would, I just stream defenses. I usually do too. And I yeah, went against my gut. Yep. It was stupid. So. Yeah. Well, I, I do have to say, Kat, you might talk more shit than any fantasy football player I've ever met in my entire it's life. It's part of the game. It was part of it. Because <laughs> yeah. uh, after I watched one of your best players only put up a dinky three points, I, I was like, listen. Paul mm -hmm. Mark Andrews? Yeah, yeah, I was like, you might want to uh, pump the brakes a little Slow bit. Slow your yeah, own. No, she doesn't. No, she talks no. more shit the when her guys do shit. Well, I'm just happy it's that as if I she's, and then no, she just, no! And then she doesn't even realize who's on what team, which is even more fun. Well, I was tired. She thought Nico oh, Collins was Mac Collins. I was like, not the same guy, different team. <laughs> no, or Gabe Davis. Mac Collins scored a touchdown for the Bills. She goes, oh, I have him. I'm like, who no, is no. Nico Collins. I'm like, that is Mac Collins. This is I the wasn't right team. really watching the TV. I was putting together a coffee table. Andrew texted, Andrew texted me that she had said that because she was over at Andrew's house helping put together a coffee table I was while I was making our bomb 
uh, sausage and cream yeah. cheese dip for football. Just making a bomb. Was fucking so yeah, it was a bomb. It was a it was a gun. But it was gone by the time. Yeah. I mean, everybody, everybody ate it. Ate it. It's it's so gonna, it was probably a tough Monday morning for all parties involved. I have to say. Oh yeah, I probably shit bomb. seventeen times on Monday. <laughs> but everyone was just like, like I'm not even hungry. I'm just eating this. Yeah, it's so fun. good. Yeah. It's, uh, it was a great recipe. Quick little thing, like three ingredient recipe. Sausage, recipe. cream yeah. cheese, and rotel tomatoes. Yep. Was it. It's, it was supposed to be rotel chilies and tomatoes. We yeah. didn't have it, so I just put like fire roasted tomatoes in there. <laughs> you you locked, you it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyway, Andrew texted me like, Kat just thought Matt Collins was Nico Collins. I man. wasn't <laughs> watching Jesus TV. I was Christ. putting together the table, and I heard I Collins, and done. I was like, I have him. They didn't even say Collins. They said Hollins. I different. I can't hear you. It's only a difference of what? one letter. Andrew. Come on, it's only a difference. Of you one didn't letter. know shit. Well, one I did win because then you thought Gabe Davis was on the Bills still, which was wild. I mean, that's not that outrageous. I mean, I feel like most people might not. Really it's outrageous forgotten. if you draft someone in fantasy and think that he's on. No, the team, I didn't draft not. him in fantasy. I so we have a, a family DraftKings like every week pick them kind yes. of week. Yep. So I drafted Nico Collins on my family DraftKings. Um, Apparently, yes. I just said Gabe. You have Gabe Davis in your face. That was Gabe Davis too. Dave and Nico Collins. But Dave, I actually, Dave I won. Davis. Dave, Dave, Dave Davis. Dave, Dave, Dave Davis. Dave, Dave Davidson. Davis. Dave Davidson. But, Are you David Davidson? Are you David I won. Davidson? I won twenty seven dollars. The Babylon's, the, the Babylon's yeah. like, Well, you lost your uh, you lost your regular matchup. You, I actually you, you won almost hundred dollars this past weekend. So what do you freaking do for me? I won three hundred fifty. Oh, that's. And then I won my fantasy baseball league. Oh, yeah. nice. Congratulations. Yeah. Are you guys done with your fantasy baseball? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me and Andrew both got oh, eliminated. Both yeah. Yeah. Eliminated. Losers. <laughs> we are. We are. Anyway, <laughs> fantasy football, guys. Uh, hey, folks, uh, anybody watch anything of note before we jump into tonight's movie that uh, was spooky and fun and cool? Or I did. Spooky and fun and bad. Matthew, I what watched you watch? um, that movie, The Devil Disorder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or Demon Disorder. Yep. Um, that was pretty legit it kind of reminded me of when evil lurks it's like kind of oh, like it nice. goes pretty hard like that not that hard but just similar kind of it's australian um so that's cool um crikey blimey um and then i watched uh this movie called hellhole which i think you'd really enjoy you did mention it's that very wormy. Um, oh nice yeah big time worms um in and out of butts um so it's but it was cool it's like a horror comedy Nice. So that was that was tight, and then today nice. me and Sarah watched The Exorcist and the thing. Oh, dude, what a double feature! Yeah, Very everyone went nice. to school, and we was taking a nap, and we were just like being couch monsters and just laying there doing nothing. Dude, so, props to Sarah for going hard. In the she doesn't. Game. She never minds watching The Exorcist. The thing she was like, well, well, well. And then I, she was just like, whatever. And then she got like wrapped up, and it was asking questions. She's like, so how do you know who's the thing? Mm -hmm. I'm like, you don't. That's, That's the, point. the point of the fucking That's movie. That's the point. Yeah, exactly. She's like, so what are they going to do? I'm like, they're going to kill each other. <laughs> yeah. They're all going to do man yeah, they're things. They're going to be man. Gonna she just talked about how Kurt Russell is very handsome. Oh, yeah. I mean, dude, stud. A stud, yeah. stud. In that movie, he's a stud still. Oh, yeah. Yep. I, re I always remember when I was growing up, my mom always used to love Kurt Russell and Kevin Costner. And I was young enough where I was like, I don't really understand the the Kurt Russell appeal. And then I watched like, what about thing. dad? Yeah. What about dad? Uh -huh. <laughs> of course she thought my dad was handsome too. At least twice. Um, <laughs> sorry, Mary. Walsh. Jeez. Just joking. Talking about your parents like that. Oh my God. Well, come on. Anyway. So, and then, uh, yeah, Kevin, Kevin Costner, handsome man, Kurt Russell, um, in escape from New York is a thing. I mean, just a stud, some stud, as I said, handsome dude. And his son, yeah. Wyatt Russell, handsome guy. looks just like Kurt Russell, but blonde. Pretty cool. Russell, Russell. Stargate. Mm-hmm. Target as well. Um, I started my annual rewatch of uh, Bravo's 100 Scariest yeah. Movie Moments on YouTube. I am Count me out of that. Out. Yep, yep, I know. Right? <laughs> yep, I know you don't like See anything that later. I like anymore. That's okay. Uh, but yeah. it's as, it's as watched, good as ever. Uh, no, nah, I'm gonna watch that too. Yep, um, it's you, not you time for me yet. Oh, I started watching that. Horror's Greatest. That oh, on Shutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm still gonna check that out. I know you watched the first episode. That was pretty solid. Yeah, it's 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 very very dorky. Like a big horror nerdum. So, um, nerd dumb. Yeah. So the people they have talked. The second huge. episode you'll love. It's all monsters. It's all Godzilla. Nice. And then the third episode that just came out the other day is Japanese horror. Oh, okay. Which is sick. Cool. So, Very nice. Well, I'm excited to check that one out. Uh, Cat, Andrew, anybody watch anything they want to talk about, or should we just no, get into uh, so. tonight's Jersey Shore or Survivor? Um, I started actually today watching an episode of The Bachelor. That well, was my third. Mm -hmm. That was gonna be my yeah, third. Yeah, Bachelor. Yeah. Oh, um, but I, I very I, scary. I, show. I fell asleep. Far away through, so. Oh, I didn't really watch the whole thing. So it was 
It's really good. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's great. Very yeah. good. I really needed a nap today. And so. my boy? <laughs> I watched uh, The Voter Lock. Oh, yes. Oh, sorry. Talk actually, because I really want to see this that. now. Yeah. Um, kind of a horror comedy, but it's it's more just a gothic horror. Uh, very, had very 70s vibes to it. Um, it's based off the same... It's based off the same story that in Black Sabbath, Mario Baba's Black mm-hmm. Sabbath, the third segment or the second segment, I can't remember which one it the is. The long one with like with the, the where they where they like invade the it's like the Gorcha. Yeah, that's the guys. That's yeah, the that's the one that Boris Karloff is actually in. Correct? Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yep. It's that one. So that story is actually a true. That's a written. That's a book mm-hmm. that was written. Three dates Stoker's Dracula by about fifty years. Mm-hmm. So it's very interesting take on essentially a vampire. Mm-hmm. Um, the Thank monster you. design was really cool because it was just a life size marionette. Yeah, you used. had me at this. I like, was like, I was that like, is really cool. Like you could tell because I was watching. I was like, this is so weird looking. I'm like, what is this? I'm like, is this CGI? Is this like, like stop motion? And then I was like, oh, it's a fucking marionette. That's so creepy and weird. It just it just added to like this otherworldly kind of feeling that you got from the creature because it was yeah. like clearly not. A person. That's awesome. It was really weird. See, I, I like that, and I wish like more movies would take chances like that. I feel like that's a really cool. I think it was French. Aspect. I think it was a French movie. Yeah, French. it was French, I believe. French. Uh, and it's a period piece, right? Period piece. Yep. It was um very weird. I think Matt. I think Matt will like it, Mike. I think you'll like the creature. I don't know if you'll actually like the movie though. Fair. It's more of like a Matt. I don't even know if it's a Matt. I don't know who it is. I don't know who this movie is for. I liked it. I just want to see because it, it was creature. different. Yeah. It was very different. Um, great the ending the climax at the end like the ending of the movie is very good climax Ooh. climax <laughs> were you climaxing during uh, the I climax? highly recommend it just for <laughs> <laughs> because it, it was kind of like an out of nowhere vampire type movie it's almost like one of those movies that you didn't think that you didn't really sounds like a spoiler want but you need what that it's a vampire no no I feel like the title kind of gives it away you find out pretty soon that it is something Along the lines of a vampire, so not as. Well, I mean, the name wow, of the movie the is essentially night. a vampire. Oh, okay. cool. That that means vampire in like Bavaria or something. <laughs> or Bavarian cream donuts. I <laughs> nice. Okay. So I board. would definitely watch it. It's a worthy watch. Zavodala. Should I talk about movies. Oddity? No, you didn't. No, talk about Oddity because that's another one that I really want to see. That was from a few weeks ago. It's good. It's very good. It's like in my thought. Okay. Um, All right. It's the. It's got like really legit jump scares. Okay. Um, and the story's cool. It's interesting. Um, I don't want to give anything away. It's kind of like it reminded me of Cobweb in the sense that I didn't really know what it was about. And you go into it and you're like, wow, this movie kicks fucking ass. Like it was nice. just a fun watch. So okay. I think it's from Scotland or Ireland. Uh, it's an Irish director. I think he directed something else. A yeah, I guess ago. Ireland's been pretty good. just fucking yeah. pumping them out. So Aaron Go Bra, baby. Yeah. Aaron Go Braless. Ireland forever, my friends. Um, so what was I going to say? Are we, the three of us, still feeling that Late Night with the Devil, Alien Romulus, and Long Legs, Long Legs are still pretty firmly within our know. top three, or if not I our know. top five? Yeah, it's it's going to change what eight times. They're top five. I have to really. There's a lot of movies I've seen that yeah. are a little lower. Yeah. On the Rector scale or the Richter scale. The Richter scale. The Richter. The Richter. The, 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 the rectal scale. Rector. My rectal scale. He took the little line right out of my mouth, Matt. Rector. Um, I hardly knew. Do you want to try some of this? Sure. The 19. Oh, that's where cats drinking the 19 crimes uh, Frankenstein wine, which we were able to find. So. I'm gonna try and post a photo on social media of it. It says it's so it's a cab seven. It says it's. Firm and full with rich mouth feel, aromatics of dark berries, violets, and vanilla. And it's like almost funky because you don't expect it, but it's definitely vanilla forward. Like, it's, which I, I like that a lot, actually. I like vanilla I like, a lot. Yeah. The, the, the my Rodney Strong bowl aerator that I got. Mm-hmm. Yep. Awesome. Okay. But do you want to try some? I'm good. Thank you. No, thank you. I had but way too much wine last night. It's, no, uh, it, it, it it's, smells good. It does. It, like, mm. I mean, it's very vanilla forward, which I didn't expect because I just had some Josh, and Josh is pretty basic. Mm. Gone but, up the Josh. Um, this was like a different flavor, and I was like, "Ooh, a little funk to it." Like, mm. nice. Well, you heard Matthew just crack a beer. He's drinking a nice Sterling Miller Light, as am yes. I, and it's got a nice fine Pilsner beer flavor to it. If very we keep nice. drinking them on the show, maybe they'll sponsor us. Maybe that'd be cool. Maybe indeed. <laughs> 
It's Miller, Miller Lite needs to step up their Halloween marketing game. So, hey, Miller Lite, if you're listening, uh, let's make go. Your candle let's orange. make it happen. I mean, I drink enough of your beer, so let's go. Lady and gentlemen, uh, anything else we want to talk about before we talk about tonight's movie? Let's just get this over. Yeah, let's get it over. Why don't we pause for a quick little break first from a word from our sponsors. We'll be right back in about 90 seconds. Stay tuned. It's official. The critics' decision is in. Spooky World is spectacular. Enter the new black hole. If you dare. Or the new horror. House of Wax. This year, don't miss the real Jason, Bobby Pickett, or Alice Cooper. Phone the 24-hour Spooky World hotline. 508-838-0200. That's 508-838-0200. Spooky World is just west of Boston and haunts every night from October 1st till November 1st. If you had the nerve, you'd phone 508-838-0200. It's America's horror theme park. Spooky All right, we're back. And guys, you know, I, I talk about this a lot, but I feel like you can pretty much tell when you see the episode uh, <laughs> title in your podcast feed, whatever podcast platform you listen on, you could, you might be able to tell um, whose pick it is when we're talking about a particular movie. And uh, we're not going back that far this time. We're going back just a couple of short years when this podcast was still going on and we did talk about this be on our top 10 films of 2020 top 10 horror films which say of 2022 uh back in december a couple short years ago and that movie is speak no evil which of course is in the news right now for a couple of different reasons it's in the news right now uh, that's correct yes not well let me let me put Did it this you guys way. know this let me put it this way yeah um, it's in the news? Not, not like the news you watch on television. Oh, okay. no. That's not like what yeah. it is in the news for. Not like that. Um, but I'd say one of the biggest reasons, or arguably, I think this is a movie you want to talk about for a while, Matt, right? Yeah, I just want to do, I figured once I knew the remake was coming out, I was like, right. I'm going to wait. And there you go. So there is a remake <laughs> that is, um, hopefully this episode's out this week, is in theaters this week. And it's kind of been one of the biggest talking points points in the horror community the last several months for a couple of different reasons, um, mainly because it's an American made remake of a film that is a, I believe, a Danish. Danish film that came out about two years ago, not even two full years ago, um, produced by Blumhouse, who is the arguably churns out some of the most generic horror movies, but does have does shit out a couple of gold nuggets every once in a while. Um, you know, shout out to Get Out and a couple of other movies like that. And um, the reasons, basically, I, I would say, A, why remake this movie so shortly after the original one came out and was very good? Um, why not just encourage people to see the original one and just read subtitles? I feel like that kind of it's not even adds it's almost a, all in English, right? And it, it, it is, like it, yeah. it it like that make it sense. adds to the stereotype of the idiot American, right? Like, why does this movie need to be remade and dumbed down for it's American audiences? Well, they did the stupid. same thing with because it's a let the right one in, right? So it was very quickly. So okay, after. so you 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 brought me to my next point, right? So counterpoint to that, right? So there are some very good movies that were foreign films that were remade uh, in America with very good success. Like let me in was the, was, was, let, let me let, let the right, right one in was the, was the Swedish. For, or I think it was Swedish. Was I Swedish forget which one is which. It's let the right one in is the Swedish. For right. And yeah. let me in was the one directed by um, what's his name. Is it a uh, Scott Derrickson? I want to say, I don't know. It was somebody good, but that one was actually very good. Um, the ring obviously was the uh, Ringu was the Japanese right. one, and that, the that? ring. I don't know. It was probably somewhere recently. That was remade yeah. with a ton of success in America. Well, uh, it was yeah. pretty soon after. Yep. Uh, Funny Games was another one that was. Um, that was like, the same director. Same director, though. and that's a okay. shot for shot remake. Okay. You just wanted to make it fair in America. Okay. Then you also get some absolute dog shit on the flip side of the coin, like the um, uh, the Rudge movies that uh, were remade off the Japanese movies as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh my god, The Wicker Man, which again, that was the 70s, but the 2006 <laughs> remake with Nicolas Cage, absolute martyrs. fucking dog yeah, shit. Yeah, the martyrs remake. 
Uh, what else do I have here on this? Pulse list? I heard was terrible. I heard the Good the Night Pulse Mommy remake. Yep. Good, night. good Night Mommy was another one that came out recently. Yep, that was on my list. Yeah, Martyrs. That's another one. Good Night Mommy. Uh, so, so yeah, there's argue to be made for both sides of the equation. Uh, I guess like are, are you guys like. Are you on board with the trend? I no. No, I think no. it's a cash grab. If yeah, they're yeah. trying, it's it's attempt to be a cash grab. Yeah. They didn't make enough money on the first, so they're going. Well, no, they're not. The, the first the original version is. The directors and writers of the original one <laughs> were, their entire purpose was to make the most brutal Danish movie yeah. of time. Mm-hmm. That literally was. Is Midsommar Danish? No, it's no, an American, American movie. movie. Ari Aster is an American director. That's an American movie. Yeah, oh, it takes place in like Sweden. Okay. Um, yep. All right, but all right. they oh, okay. all right. they all right. wanted yeah. to just make a brutal movie. Like yeah. there's interviews, and that's what they Success. said. Success. Yep. And yeah. they did it. So <laughs> this is them being like, we can make this an American movie. Obviously, yeah, it's gonna be, you know, nerfed a little bit. There's yeah. no way an American movie in theaters and a mass release has this ending. <laughs> no fucking <laughs> way. You people so, would be like, what the no, fuck And that, that's a great segue into my next point. Okay, yeah, so yeah. obviously the remake is out now. If you're listening to this, you can go see it. Um, obviously, the, the ending to the original film is infamous. And I think one of the most bleak endings to a horror it's movie that hardest. you will ever see. Yeah. And it, it made you oh, like... Goosebumps. Yeah, like <laughs> it, this is like you, you finish this movie and it's like, I got to watch South Park or Always Sunny or, or Seinfeld or something. And I need to decompress for a little while afterwards because it's, it's pretty fucking brutal. Sarah, but, last night when I finished it, yeah, she's like, I heard you turn the TV off and then just like go. <sighs> and, like, just <laughs> yeah. like sigh. Yep. And you yep. just, I just went right to bed. Yeah, so. it's, it's, it's rough, man. But I, I think the bigger point of contention for horror fans, right, is the fact that if you've seen the original movie, you could argue that the trailer for this remake gives away the entire plot and the spoiler for the movie in the trailer itself. Now, if you haven't seen the original movie, you might not pick up on some of the stuff, right? You're not going to pick up on most of it. I would say, but I, I feel like if you're paying attention, it's all there. It's there's several key points that are exposed in the trailer. Yeah. That are crucial to the tension building of the character dynamic between yep. the two families. Yep. One yep. of them is fucking huge. And I said this in the group chat last mm-hmm. night. So we'll yes. get there. We'll I'll get into that when we yes. like go spoiler. Do you think you did that in the trailer? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't I, how did I miss that? Oh really? Yeah. That scene they the only things that I will say working in this remake's favor, okay? Wait. One. Wait, can I, can I interject? Yeah. Did I watch the right movie? Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. Okay. We watched the ending of it together last night. All right. Again, remember? <laughs> you saw it before, too. You're saying, like, yeah. remake and this time, whatever, and I'm yeah. like... There's a remake with James McAvoy. Yeah, yeah, the remake that's coming the remake out. That's yeah, coming we're talking about the remake right now. Out like this okay. So, I would say the, the James McAvoy <laughs> thing is something <laughs> working in this movie's favor, because James I... McAvoy is a fantastic actor. Um, He looks very scary in this movie. He looks crazy. But the yeah. fact that he is supposed to be scary, I don't really know that you can hide it in the trailer, but I don't know that it should be highlighted as much as it is. No, that's Specific something that needs things. to be built up slowly through right, the movie. Right, right. But he's a great actor. I think that's working in its favor. And also, I didn't know this until today when I was researching for this uh, podcast. The director of the remake also directed Eden Lake. Oh, Which wow. is a okay. fucking, I would say on par with the original Speak No Evil as one of the bleakest horror movies you'll ever watch. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. one with Michael Fassbender and Kelly Riley. <laughs> Kelly ones. Riley, obviously um, famous for um, uh, Yellowstone. She's big in that. And Fassbender's a huge show. actor. Yeah. So, I mean, like, okay. I saw those <laughs> things, and you know what? Maybe, maybe the remake will change things just enough that it'll be fresh. But in the same yeah. sense, it, like, I just, I can't I'll help. I'll be so yeah. mad if... I know exactly. Yeah. The ending's not going to be what you think. It's not. No. It's going to be terrible. It looks like in the trailer there's like a battle. Yeah. Yeah, which and does it which ruin, which is completely against what the movie is trying to say. It looks I like agree. the remake uh it reminded me of the remake of Last House in the Left. Okay. That's a good comparison, I would say. Like it's going to just be it's going to be violent. Yeah. But it's just not going to be what the story is supposed to be. Yeah. And there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of people get really fucking angry about this movie. Yeah. Because they're just like, how can you do this? Let this all happen. Yeah. Well, again, this is this comes down. That's to, the point of the yeah. fuck 
fucking movie. Exactly. Yeah. Some people don't have that in them. Mm -hmm. And some people are predators that are going to prey on that. Yeah. And that's what makes this such a devastating watch because they're help you're helpless but watching just these how fucking they are. people yeah. and you're like dude yeah and there's so many close calls and so many almosts and you're just like oh my and God. I just, sitting I in the car on, sitting dude. in the car when he gets up to take a piss do something it, it's that's the ultimate chance. example of you're more afraid of feeling uncomfortable than you are of removing yourself for a situ from a situation. Yeah. And I won't like, or like know, seeming rude or something. Exactly. Yeah. Like that type of thing, which is insane. But what's <laughs> insane to think though, is that people go, that didn't happen in real life. Dude, that happened with a bunch of Dahmer's victims. All, I mean, granted he mm -hmm. like did, but like that happens all the fucking time. Yeah. Like, people are just, they don't have the, they just like, don't yeah, think they don't, yeah. they go, well, this they isn't going to happen to me. Yeah. If I'm just going to, mm -hmm. if I just don't <laughs> say anything and I just let it go. I'll just have, I'll just move on instead of having this awkward conversation. Yeah, there's so it many says, points in this movie. Th that there is. Like, it, oh my like, god, dude! Like, at, how can you be there, at the end? Like, yeah. it, do something. Yeah. Just for fuck's sake, like, like, why not? So, all right. So, Kat, I remember watching this movie with you when it first came out. I don't want to go into spoilers about the ending quite yet, but obviously, the ending is a huge portion of this movie that most people talk about. Did the ending affect you? Yeah. Any less than it did the original time. Especially because when we first watched it, I don't believe I we had we didn't have Bridget yet. Think we didn't have a kid. I have an entirely different view of this movie watching this the second time than I did the first time. Mm -hmm. Totally different perspective. Yeah. <clears throat> is what I'll say. Yeah, I feel like when you, gonna... you agree with the villains this time. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, no, I'm joking, you know? I'm <laughs> This Wait, is reserved ask, ask for my hot take a little bit later. <laughs> this is the <laughs> only movie I can think of until last night. I, I couldn't get to the end of this movie. Yeah. I forced myself to watch it last night. I've never had that with yeah. anything. I can watch anything. But this movie fucked me up so bad the first time I watched it. And I just had no, I was hmm. just devastated by it. Yeah. So I don't know if this movie holds rewatch value. Because of one, I don't know that it does because, either. No, because yeah. having seen it the first time, knowing what's coming at the end, everything leading up to that is more just like, okay. all right, let's just come on, let's yeah. go, let's what's, go, let's, what's gonna let's get to here. this part because yeah. I know it's coming. Can we just get, get it all over with? It's just, yeah. but yeah, well, at that point, I mean, you're not enjoying the movie. Yeah. No, because I know what's yeah. coming, but you're, I'm getting, you're not, and I got, I got more annoyed this time watching it than I did the first. Time. Yeah, I mean that just if you're that's just there's no point watching. There's no point putting yourself through it. Yeah. What what holds more rewatch value? Speak no evil or the sixth sense? Six cents. Uh oh, that's a good question. Six cents. Absolutely. You think the six cents is an sense easier movie? Yeah, the easier six cents is watch. a rewatch value because it's sure. easier to watch. I'm not gonna have you. It's just it doesn't, yeah. it doesn't hold Duh. the it doesn't hold the weight that it did in its first watch. I feel like this movie would like it would give me a sick satisfaction. For someone that like, if they were to come to me and say, hey, "Mike, I want to watch a really like brutal horror movie," okay. watching it with knowing, someone that has yeah, knowing it. what you know, was that's going to happen, a certain scenario. that's like waiting, anticipating them seeing what was going to happen. I feel like that is, a, but that's a different. That's not a different animal, scenario. Yeah, right? like, this is a movie I would love to watch with someone. <sighs> this is a movie that would. Again? This is something that could really send somebody into mm. being like, I don't want to watch horror movies. Yeah, at all. Or I don't want to. Like, don't ever talk to me again. You made me watch yeah. this movie. Right? Yeah. Like, what is wrong with it's you? It's changed my problem. outlook on how I look at strangers. Yeah, like it's it's it really had a big effect on me mentally. Watching well, this movie. it's funny. So, Go ahead, Kat. Go ahead. Going to like trips. Me and Mike have gone on other yeah. trips before we ever. I think we were married, literally like, going to say the exact same thing. Yeah. Go ahead. We make friends, mm -hmm. tons of friends when we go on vacation. Yeah. yeah, we make and like we still talk to like we talk to them on Facebook, like this, yep. that, and whatever. If they were ever like, Hey, come down to like where we live for a weekend, I'd be like, Um, yeah. what do you think? I was like, If it doesn't work out, then I mean, we can go somewhere else, but like, you mm. know, they have kids our kids' age, like they were super nice when we met them a few years ago. But I'm like, mm. This movie kind of makes you think, being like. Maybe they're what's not the worst they that are, could happen? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't stay in the same house. I'd go, yeah, but, sure, I'd get an Airbnb. But, but, but having having a kid in general, I think, brings it to a different. Oh, level. it yeah. does. Well, now, now, like, I mean, if it was just us, I'd be like, yeah, let's go. Yeah. But bringing Bridget into a situation is a yeah. completely different scenario. Yeah. Like, I would not bring my child. But also, if you're on social no. media and you're communicating with them and you I can mean, see, visualize, like, they'd have to do really a lot of hiding and work yeah. on their yeah. whole. That's a whole different level. And then at that point, 
at times. It's also not impossible to do. Oh, it's not. But like, then at that point, it's like, well, you can't live your life in fear that this is, that everybody's going to, otherwise, what are you doing? This is, this is like a level of unspeakable evil that is beyond. This is, this is, this is, this is also missing (laughs) red flag after red flag after red flag. Or just, or just kind of accepting it and being like, okay, like, I guess this is how they do things here. Um, like, if, no. Because in that, the scene with the kitchen when, like, he comes back for, like, the stuffy or whatever, the rabbit, and, like, they're sitting in the kitchen, like, questioning him, I would be, like, immediately, like, we gotta go. Make up some stupid lie. I'd be like, mm-hmm. my kid's sick. My wife gotta go. Like, oh, yeah, she I had gotta, explosive gotta, diarrhea. Yeah. I didn't leave her That was, that was the five. most yeah. annoying so, scene but because also, I was so angry that this but, guy was just, like... They deserve to be called out for what they were doing. Sure. Because yeah. there were certain yep. things that they did that yep. were over the fucking line. Yeah. Yeah. But, and dangerous. But and you're gonna like, say that yeah. to a stranger? You don't even know But if they people. do try to leave in that situation, does anything change? No. Wait, what? No, if they left right then... Do you think they let them leave? I, I don't well, actually, I think no. they are so good at what they're doing <laughs> that they're they are a black widow spider dealing yeah. with fruit flats. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? They, point. they are so yeah. Well like, yeah, and they wouldn't have made it anyway. At because... This whole plan well they've done they it have. like what dozens times. of times. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I mean I, I Which I, that's I, the wild part because not to get into spoiler, but kind no. of spoiler. You can it's fine. Where, well no, not how quite, does, not no one finds. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so to echo what Kat was saying, I was going to say the same thing. I mean, there was a couple that we met on our honeymoon that we absolutely, we hung out with the entire fucking week that we were there. We met a couple of yeah. couples on our honeymoon. I'm thinking of one particular couple. I was okay. like, these people are awesome. You I'm know, having I a blast. Still would. I would go to New York. Hang out with absolutely. Them. Day, now, awesome. but like this type of thing has made me, yeah, like question. Well, it makes you think that, before, yes. Thank you, sir. <laughs> now that you have Bridget, like, I mean, bringing a child somewhere is completely different than you just going right. and like traveling alone and being like yeah. this is my responsibility for myself now you're responsible for another person vulnerable like, person yes yeah. who exactly. is solely depending on you on as their protector yeah. so like that's a whole other scenario than just like going somewhere yeah and like they go out to dinner and there's a babysitter mm-hmm. oh, man dude like what? that part really gets what? under my fucking skin absolutely too. not yeah. oh yeah. okay let's just go Let's just go. You're gonna leave them with this strange stranger? fucking guy. Yeah, yeah, pass. Like they're like, but they're pass. just so convincing. It's insane. They're so friendly. No, they're so. But also, you would think too, though. But like in their defense, like <coughs> they're leaving their child with this guy. Like what? Why but it was within. Like, he's a bunch and then he seemed very friendly with yeah. like it wasn't. But the flags. Magic, yeah. And he didn't do anything. But the flags yeah, are also like point. you know <laughs> they don't mention to them that it's just parents and that they believe if they. You know, mm. yeah, they like getting her dressed ready just, to go. Yep, mm. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this also like speaks to, and this is like one of the things that I read about it. Like you know, after the initially after the movie came out, like back in twenty two, this is like the epitome of the subtle differences between neighboring cultures and countries, right? right? Because like mm-hmm. a lot of the stuff that they like, oh yeah, you know, these people are probably just like the, just like us but they're different enough that some of the customs and things like that are weird enough that it causes issues and starts to create a rift. And obviously these people are crazy anyway, but like, it's just, it's, it's, yeah. Well, just like there's certain little things like when they give him the coffee mug as Mm -hmm. a gift, when they show up with the mermaid on it, he's Mm -hmm. like, Oh yeah, I've heard the mermaid's like pretty like small and disappointing. Mm -hmm. Like (laughs) just like tells them like their gift is like dumb. Yeah. 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 And it's just like, there's just like, it's, it's just increasing bullying sociopath behavior. yeah yeah and it all starts with the one thing in the at the pool yeah where he yeah. asked to borrow the chair and then he jumps right in the pool and it shows agnes sitting like uh with her legs in the pool because she has no chair now mm-hmm. and he doesn't like, use it just throws his shirt on it and goes swimming yeah and it's just like that it's just and that was his like bait yep right. he's like all right this guy is weak he can't he yeah. won't tell me no yep yeah <sighs> yeah, then yeah. the scene at that weird place where they get the dinner. The roadhouse. And he, the road, I'm like, what is this? They were the only table in that restaurant mm-hmm. eating. Yeah. Yeah. Food looked weird as fuck. Uh, and then like when he just like just such in a such a like manipulative way gets him to just pay for yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Yes. That's like just yes. like <laughs> different level, like oh you're gonna you're gonna pay for it. Thank you so much. I really yeah. Like, and he's yeah. like, Well, I guess I can he's like, Oh, thank you. Thank you so like, much yeah. for treating us. That's yeah. The, 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 uh, the dance scene. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's just it's fucking brutal. They're they're in the it's scary because those actors were unbelievably convincing. 
Yeah. Yes. Like I, it's like, you're like, They're these American. are those people. Yeah. Like, and like Patrick is so fucking scary. That dude's horrifying. Dude. Yeah. He really is. And then Karen is almost scarier mm. because she's gorgeous. And, she and then so she's normal. so fucking mean, dude. Yeah. yeah. Like just so like subtly gets so mean. A name fitting for a monster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah dude, there's she steals some <laughs> she steals some scenes where you're watching and you just go, Jesus oh, Christ. God. Yeah. yeah. Like in the car when they're all together and she's just like, shut up. She's like, yeah, dude. When she tells up. a little girl, yeah. shut up. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, no. Like, no, no, Christ. thank you. Um, but anyway, so I um looked up my film rankings for 2022. I had this at my number seven. Uh, Matt, I found your list on Letterboxd. You had it at number four. Yeah. Andrew and Kat, do you guys have any idea? It was top, you, I it thought was, it was top three. I, yeah, I, I think it was I high remember. for you, Andrew. Three. I, I, I can't remember, remember exactly. exactly. That's okay. You don't have to remember that. Right That's there. fine. That's totally fine. So and this was a late watch. Yeah. And as soon as I watched it, I was like, oh, my. Yeah. I think that might have had something. I mean, but yeah. also it's, I mean, it's a very polarizing movie. Yeah. Like. It's nice that we're looking back on it now. Yeah, because we yeah. never this really got nice. to talk. About. Yeah, we never had a really little bit of time to like think yeah. about it and decompress I've and tried watch to, it a second time. You know, like, I've tried to rewatch this movie probably five times. Really, yeah. and I can't. I couldn't get past. You love torturing yourself. Good I Lord. just well, I just I was like, you know what? I because I like the movie. It's a good movie. It is a very good movie. But yeah. it's just I couldn't. I'd get up to the point where they're trying to leave in the middle of the night after mm-hmm. he finds what he finds. Mm-hmm. Yep, and I'm like, I'm I, can't, I can't. You know. I'm yeah. not doing this. I'm right. out. So for finally, last for that night, reason, yeah, that's so, that's that's, what, that's the most brutal, like final twenty five power. It feels it, so. That's it what feels, it, it's it about feels 20. like it feels a fucking like the movie. hour. Yeah. It yeah. feels like it's taking so long. There's just the dread. Is they do such a fantastic job. The, the music is fucking the music and the music right in the beginning yeah. too. Like yeah. they're doing it at the beginning. You're like, oh, this is some <laughs> this is some fucking <laughs> ominous fucking <laughs> movie music. It's almost like almost like the shining music. Yeah, it's whenever it's like a field. Or like yeah. some cra- yeah. like nothing, and then it's just mu- yeah, it's like mm-hmm. the shining. They're like, like in their said. kitchen. It's like too. all of a sudden, yeah. like and you're like, whoa, Jesus! Like I was half watching it at work, when I was like, whatever. And I was like, wait, is this all in a different language? Like I can't remember. I was like, shit. I had the Parts of it are, but like, yeah, I mean, it's mostly in English because that's their so, well, it's, it's, it's well, mostly English. English. And almost every time they're not speaking English, you don't really know what they're saying for the most part, right? Which I adds adds, adds yeah. tension, right? Because yeah. you, you have no know. idea what they're right. saying. You're, you, that, that's the movie putting you in the other couple's shoes. Yeah. Because even though they're in neighboring countries, they speak different languages, yeah, which is different, and, right? Uh, like Dutch. Dutch. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Wild. So anyway, I guess before we continue and, and get into real spoiler territory here, um, go watch <coughs> Speak No Evil before you go see the remake. And I, I don't want to shit on a remake just because it's a remake. I hope it's good. I really do. Um, I'm sure to make some money. It, I think it'll make a ton of oh, money. Oh, yeah. I want to see it's it. It's going to be the horror movie yeah, probably I'm, of the summer. I'm, I'm, when does it come out? Is it out now? It's out. It's out uh, what's today? Wednesday? It'll be out tomorrow night. Ah. Yeah. So I, I, I never want to wish poor upon anything unless yeah, it's like cynical. Boy. Yeah. I, well, like I hope it does good because if it does good, good, it will bring more attention to this other movie. Yeah. Probably like good timing. Well, the cool really. thing, too, is the only benefit of it not having the same ending is it's good and it's still brutal enough. It'll be like you thought. That was bad. Mm. Watch, go watch, watch the original, the original and one. Yeah. Be like, oh, it's shit. like the movie The Vanishing. The Vanishing had an American remake, and that fucking remake had an awful nerfed American ending. Yeah. The original ending is so... It's it's right up there with this. It's very mm. bleak. It's very fucked up. Okay. And you see the two, and you're like, oh, you thought that was fucked up? Yeah. Go watch, go watch the one. original. Yeah. yeah, because if someone sees <laughs> the new one... And it's like, oh, that was too fucked up. I can't. I think that. a lot of people. Like, well, have then no don't idea. watch the original. <laughs> I think a lot of people have no idea that there's an original. Oh, there's no. Yeah, that's no. Hundred well, percent true. Think about it like this: Who does Blumhouse target their movies towards? Right, people that watch Megan, the Price casual yeah. horror fan, right? I and have they not want... seen <laughs> Megan. By the by, I still can't believe that you haven't okay. seen Megan, and I have. It's yeah. fine. It's fine. How did that movie Afraid do? <laughs> the, the AI, AI movie, movie where is the that car already takes out? over? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, right. that. oh, that was one of the trailers. I think you missed it. I probably went to the bathroom. That was when I went to the bathroom. No, it was you. You were just getting to the movie theater. I think after me. Oh, okay. When we saw uh, Romulus. Romulus. Yeah. So you missed like the trailers, and I had, I was like, dude, you missed this movie. Yeah, afraid. It was oh, fantastic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is probably the dumb. <laughs> that movie has to be like a f- two point two on like IMDb. Yeah. It looks so bad. Yeah, like, this is the dumbest, like, point two out of one. Rotten? 
Oh, rotten! It's like a zero, probably. Uh, I would yeah. say. I would hope so. <laughs> Super rotten. If anyone likes that movie, they should just moldy. Speaking <laughs> of uh, rotten tomatoes and movie summaries, by the way, uh, before we go any further and delve into spoiler territory, and we go balls deep into this ending, which turn back now, go watch the movie and come back and listen to us. Speak no evil, folks. By the way, is a 2022 horror movie, a Danish horror movie, which uh, in Danish uh, called Gastern, I believe is how you pronounce it. Uh, which translates to The Guests, that was the original title in Danish, is a 2022 Danish psychological horror thriller film directed by Christian Taftrup, if that's how you pronounce his name. I'm going to do my uh, the best I can with these names Wow, here. way to be. Yep. From a screenplay he co-wrote with his brother, uh, his brother, brother. Mads. Mads Taft. <laughs> Hello, Mada. <laughs> Hello, Mada. Hello, Mada. Hello, Mada. <laughs> uh, the film centers on Bjorn, played by Mort Burian, and Louise, played by Sitzel Seam Cook. A Danish couple are invited by Patrick, played by Fedja van Hoot, and Karen, played by Karina Smulders, who is a Dutch couple. Apparently, their, I think they're married in real They life. are married in real life. Yeah. I didn't read that. Uh, invites Wait. them to their country house for a weekend Patrick holiday, and, and the hosts they're soon Patrick. begin to test the limits of their guests as the situation escalates. Go in with that plot description in mind and think about nothing yeah, else. Okay. Please don't. If you mm -hmm. have interest in this movie, please go watch it. Yeah. Before we get into and don't look up anything on it. Just go in. Don't mind. Just go. All right. Go. Beep. Now we can spoil. Go. No, no, not not quite yet. What? Um. By the way, uh, this original movie, eighty four percent, eighty four percent fresh critic score on Rotten Tomatoes, fifty four percent audience score. It's a it's split. That mm -hmm. makes perfect sense. Yep. This is a movie. Where, like Matt was saying, a lot of people were just yep. fucking annoyed yeah. by yep. the main character. For sure. Which is understandable. Uh, limited theatrical release, by the way. It grossed $631,000 internationally against a production budget of about $3.1 which that seems high to yeah. me. Yeah. Very surprised by that. Mm. The the production budget? $3.1 It was the music. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, everything, very, everything very was clean. Just, it was also beautifully shot. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cinematography was phenomenal. Beautiful fantastic writing yep yeah the so. actors were phenomenal i don't know what if they've been in like other made but they must have been paid pretty i have no idea who so the uh, the 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 uh what's his name let me see uh patrick yeah fedja von hute uh he's been in a lot of stuff in uh denmark so these are these are famous actors if you want to watch in their respective that he's countries been in, like yep he's... yep um, by the way, this is available to watch and stream on Shutter if you have a subscription. And uh, yeah, go watch this fucking movie if you are uh, if you're feeling good about life and you really want to bring yourself down a little bit. Go watch this one. For a little bit. It's to the but, point that mm -hmm. if I was to somehow meet that actor or see mm -hmm. him somewhere, the guy that played Patrick, I'd be I think I'd be mm -hmm. genuinely oh, frightened yeah. by him. Yeah, I mean, like, that's how good I he don't is trust. In this movie. Him. Yeah, uh, Dutch couple. By the way, Karen and Patrick are actually married yeah. in real life, so I feel like that. Probably added to the chemistry of the, the oh, two oh, yeah, actors, they, for sure, in this movie. They had like a Thelma and Louise yeah, vibe to it. Definitely, too, definitely. Was... And now, Kat, yes, we are fully in spoiler territory. So, mm -hmm. that's okay. Um, yeah, so let's away. let's start with this real quick, because I feel like this is a good segue into the actual discussion of the ending of this movie, okay? So writer-director Christian Taftrup uh, got the idea for this movie from his own experience while he was on holiday in Tuscany, because that's what the Euros call it, is holiday, not vacation. The sky. Correct. Yep. Uh, where his family met a friendly but somewhat socially awkward couple from the, ne the, the Netherlands. In Tuscany. They got on very well, and the two families spent a lot of time together. And when Taftrup returned home, he got an invitation from the Dutch family to stay with them in the Netherlands. He briefly considered the offer, but decided not to take it since he felt it would be odd to stay with the people he didn't really know. Never met them again. Couldn't stop thinking about what could have happened if he had accepted that opportunity. And some of his darkest ideas became the basis for the screenplay. Uh, Taftrup stresses that the movie is no more than a dark fantasy and that the Dutch couple that he met actually gave no inspiration for the actual couple in this <laughs> movie. But as is life. The ideas came from a real life thing here, which is really cool. And I feel like that's, you know what? This is like, this isn't like it or some movie like this could fucking happen. Yeah. Which this makes probably it much to more a scary. different level probably, probably has, has happened. happened. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's sure. Not probably. It has sure. probably 100% yeah. happened. Yeah. Um, so 
Matt, would you like to explain basically what happens towards the end of this movie? Or would, should, yeah. should, should, we, should we give a, a short plot description and then talk about the end? Can I talk about my overall thoughts? Yes, why don't you go? Yeah, ahead? Sorry, go ahead. Because we haven't talked about overall thoughts. Well, right? I, I thought we, we haven't gotten there until the spoilers. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Give your thoughts. Well, no, let him tell the ending first. No, no, no. Cat can, can go first. No, no because then the, her overall thoughts will give away. Oh, are you, you going to talk about the ending? Well, probably. You talk about the ending. Okay. So you have the two families that meet on holiday. And they kind of kick it off. And they get invited, the the Danish family gets invited to the Dutch family's house for like a week vacation, holiday, whatever. And so they get there, everything is just, it it just keeps getting worse and worse between the two. The guy forgets that, uh, what's the wife's name, Bjorn's wife? Uh, her Lucia? Name. No, no. Um, Luce, Luce, Lucy? 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 Louise. Louise. Mm-hmm. Louise. Louise is a vegetarian. Bjorn he immediately Luce. insists that she eats meat when Which they get there. They give away in the trailer for the American remake. Right. Mm-hmm. They then mm-hmm. go from there where they um, go out to dinner and they force Bjorn and uh, Louise to pay. Basically, they trick them into paying. They're like grinding and making out with each other the whole time they're there. They're, they're feeding them food them. that they don't really understand what it is or like. Mm-hmm. And then they're driving drunk home, blasting music the whole time. They're asking them to stop, and they're not. Like, dude, you see them driving, and they're like oh, fucking yeah. all over the place. They get home. They also, last second, have a, a babysitter, some strange man, come to it's watch their kids. Absolutely insane. So, because they have the son who has no tongue, yes. he's born with some sort of uh, uh, whatever lie they make. Yeah, something. Yeah. And then they have their daughter, and so. Uh, they're they're playing and getting along, but the boy is very something's wrong. Something's up, and Some, you can tell something ain't right. Yeah, they get home and Bjorn and uh, Luis sex, and then their daughter is calling for them, and you see the fucking guy looking and, at them in their yeah. room. She goes to get her later that night, and she's out of the room, and she's in their bed, and he's naked next to her. The two parents, like they're the the Dutch uh, family, they're naked. That to me was like what? Whoa. Mm-hmm. So you go from there as it kind of progresses. There's a lot more aggression from the Dutch family with their son yelling, throwing things, this, that, and the other thing. But she also didn't say anything to her husband when she saw them. No, she was just Which like, "We gotta go." Stupid. So they almost leave, and then at their halfway down the road, and the little girl thinks she lost her stuff, her, rabbit, her stuffy. That, so. Yeah. They turn Done. around and one. buy you a new one. What, what Sato is in the car. Mm-hmm. Yes. <clears throat> so they get kind of roped back in. They get friendly again. Everything seems like it's going great. They have kind of this like breakthrough and then it all just goes to shit. That night, Bjorn goes and discovers something's going on. And they find Abel, the little boy, drowned in the pool. So he's like, what the fuck? And he goes up into this like little room and you see all these pictures of all these different families with them on holiday. And it's like the kid is with their original family in one picture and then with them in another picture. So they're just stealing people's children. And you're like, what the fuck? You see all the luggage and the cameras downstairs too. It's like, so they go to leave and everything just goes to shit. They hold them up. They grab the little girl. They cut out her fucking tongue oh, with God. scissors. You, you're not. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Away anything to the imagination. The noise is oh. so fucking bad, dude. Of her like gagging on her own blood. Yeah, six like she's like a six seven year old girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it's yeah. not fucking chill. Yeah, and they that guy who babysat them comes snatches her out of the car and fucking drives away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're left with them two in there. They make them go. They strip them naked, kick them down into a hole, and fucking stone them to death with rocks. Which is and insane. That's the fucking end of the movie. And you see every stone that hits them. Yeah, oh, it's God. probably about yeah. fifteen to twenty stones. And yep. then you get this like little epilogue of them driving up through Tuscany or Italy, wherever they right. were, with and the, with the dead couple's Agnes. daughter. Yeah, yeah. in the yeah. backseat. Yep. And they're going to find go on holiday again. And brutal. Brutal. It's so <laughs> fucked up, dude. Yeah, it is like. A, it's funny, like we've talked a lot about, I feel like on this show, you know, how different things affect you at different periods in your life. And first time watching this, I do vividly remember texting you, Matt, because uh, you had one of your two kids at that point, And uh, we did not have any kids. And I was like, yeah, that was like pretty 
fucked up, but like it wasn't the most brutal thing I've ever seen. Watching the ending of this movie again last night, I was like, this is fucking horrible. Horrific. Yeah. And I you you can't help but like insert yourself into that situation and think about what you would be feeling and doing in that situation. And that guy, Bjorn, is just such a stupid bitch. Chicken, the whole movie. Oh yeah. my god. And he just lets everything <laughs> fucking happen. But it's easy for me to sit there and say that because what would you do, the average person in those scenarios, right? You'd like to think that you would step up and be like, you know what? Nope. Fuck this. We're out. Yeah. Bye. I'd be that. Fuck you. Okay. See you later. 100%. You're a bulldog. So I, I have no doubt that you would be. No, but like, awesome. it, it's just awesome. one of those reminders that like, you, you just gotta, you, go with your gut. you, you gotta, yeah. you gotta trust your gut yeah. sometimes. But like, I just, I'm not after eating the candy in the stranger's my God. car. Yeah. Like, when so Agnes <laughs> gets her tongue cut off and she's ripped out of the car and swept away to only God knows what types of horrors await her. I was just thinking to myself, I'm sitting in that car, like, I'm, I want to fucking kill myself. This they is just gave fucking, up. That's what they yeah, pretty like, much do. Like, what? The thing is, what do you do? With everyone, like, that's the argument is like, how do you not do anything? And that's, that's why I said earlier, it's like, that's, it's crucial to the plot that these people just aren't, yeah, there aren't those people. Right. And right. some people, that's, dude, there's a lot of people who aren't those people. No. Some people don't fucking tell people at restaurants they got the wrong fucking food. Yeah. Oh yeah, so you know what I mean. So it's like I won't. Think I don't send food back most of the time. It. Yeah, you, you think do I'll complain about it? But if you can't, if you can't fucking stand up and be like, "Hey, I didn't want ketchup on my burger." Yeah, you think you're gonna fucking protect yourself from a born violence out of nowhere? I know, probably it's, it's fucking a, not. Like it's it's kind of a scary thing to think about, right? In general, just because like you know, what type of person are you really? And it's like. Is being like a generally nice and warm person and wanting to be a people pleaser yeah. like that much of a detriment that it can fuck your whole life up in such a short amount of time? In a very yeah. basic, right? Like, oh, like in a very God. basic way, you're what you're dealing with is an alpha and a beta, yeah, yeah. and that's it. And he's just getting dominated, and there's nothing. He can and see. also, he is physically dominating. <laughs> like he's yeah, pummeling him in the, in the car. He has no. That guy has no fuck. Yeah, that guy is. Yeah. But that's a person that's probably never been fucking. Hit oh yeah, baseball. yeah. No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. So like, yeah. people are like, oh well, they should have done something. Once the girls like, pull out of the yeah. car and her tongue's cut off, at that point, what are you? Gonna they're get? not going to do anything. Yeah, all, they all, just. All are, I think yeah. they're just like you yeah. know what? I want to be dead, so I don't fucking care. They're just mutilating before their that, daughter. If, before yeah. that, yes, you can make the argument that like when when uh, Patrick gets out of the car to take a piss and he's sitting in the front seat, and the car's on. He easily he does could shut have it just, off. He does shut it off. No, the car was off. No, he shuts it off. Yes. I remember because last it. night I remember being like, "Why go?" And he turns it off. Who's going to be the alpha? And who's yeah, going to be the beta here, boys? He, who's going to turn it off? He could have, but he would have known that he was turning the car. Yeah, and you run him over. Yeah, <laughs> How fast does he go? Eight, yeah. eight, and you go. You yeah. lock the door, and you fuck. It's better than just sitting there. But yeah, maybe he's like, "But I don't want to scare my family." But like, yeah, I don't. I don't. That's think the other thing really... too. They're in a position where they're not trying to alarm anybody. Well, I think they when they pick him up. He says they think the mom and the daughter think that he called home, them to yeah. come help them mm -hmm. and that there's no problem. Yeah. And he basically tells them, if you do what I say, you'll be fine. Yeah. Which at that point, do you they trust do? Them? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> there's just wild. It's wild. Man. There's the thing. And the frightening thing about this movie is that there are people out there that want to hurt, hurt kids yeah. Yeah. or hurt people, yeah. Oh, yeah. but that yeah. want to hurt children. Yeah. And it's, it's so fucked up. And that is the highlight of this movie. That's what makes this movie so fucking scary. So I'm very curious to see with this remake, how far are they willing to push it? If they make this movie and it's what this movie is, and they go that far, I will I will renounce every bad fucking thing oh, I've said about one. What, what, so what what if it is a literal shot for shot remake? I would be, it's not I, not I a know chance. that it's not. I've read I things that he says that the ending okay. is not the same. Yeah. Okay, what if it's somehow more brutal? It, it's yeah. not. It's not. They've, <laughs> yeah, said, they've, right? they've like, pretty much said what the ending is. And this is what I think the ending of the new Because we can spoil the new one because no one's seen it. We haven't it seen it. Yeah. So, Kat, what? Can I finish my overall thoughts? Oh, I didn't know oh. that you weren't finished. <laughs> <laughs> can I go back and finish my overall thoughts before we talk about the remake again on this podcast? We're not talking about the remake. I think you were, you were just talking about the remake. Michael, um, I think second time around... I hated it. Absolutely hated this movie. Okay, why? It was stupid. Because 
every little mistake that this guy made, as you watch him roll through, he's just like being pummeled through this movie by these, you know, mastermind, whatever people it's like, like if anyone had any sort of sense as a parent, as a normal human being, when you're, when you have, you're married with a kid, one kid, sure. You take them to a place like you have some sort of parental sense of like, I don't want this my child in this situation. situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the fact that they just kept going from like one situation to another, to another, to another. And I'm like, that would be for someone I met over a weekend. Yeah, they just kept getting but manipulated that, too. Like, but yeah. also, yeah, you're right. No, like to turn around and just no. be, not everyone your, 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 will... your bunnies in the car. No. We're not in the car. I don't give nope. a fuck. We're I'm not. Out. I, I'm the, out. the fact that the mom didn't stop it because she was the one that wanted to leave. <laughs> I get why the dad went back because it brings back to the original, the beginning of the yes, movie where he's he the said, hero. Oh, you're a hero. But hero. like the mom was like, we're leaving. Weakness and lack of respect or self esteem. Yeah, and like. He's no, like, no, I have to. Prove. No, absolutely not. Be like, at that point, I'd be like, if you, I'm not feeling safe. I feel like once you use that word, you're like, I'm not feeling safe. We need to. Well, go. That, that's that's yes. like fuck the bunny. But I'm just saying, like, let's go. Him, him going back to get it is because at the beginning of the movie, when he finds it, and Patrick's like, that's very heroic of you, right? But then they're leaving because of him. It doesn't make <coughs> sense. But I also but think he's, that he he's didn't... just so weak that he can't bring himself. He also to not didn't want do something leave. heroic. Yeah, you know what I mean, and that's right? that's as heroic as right. he was willing to get was go back and get a fucking stuffed animal. Funny. He yeah. wasn't exactly. willing to save his own child. He didn't want to leave so, because yeah. she didn't tell him what happened. No, exactly. Which that's is why. So, but like, that's why I don't understand. She should have said at that point, "We're not going back." She was in the bed with him. But if make, she's saying like, we gotta go, I mean, lady, if, was... if I said to you, "We gotta go," we're yeah. going. Yeah, like there's yeah. no like. Well, There's no turning back for fucking bunnies. Like it, it we're, just, we're, it, we're gone. It like, goes to show that a lot of problems are caused by breakdowns in communication. But right. th- I, I think that this was or just, lack of awareness. Or I, lack I, of aware, communication like, or lack of awareness or aware, lack of like, like fucking, I mean if you yeah. have, I, I just could not imagine because I wouldn't put my kid in any sort of sketchy situation at all. Right. It would never happen. No. Not not no. In, like I mean, I'd be like absolutely not. But you also have to consider that we're in well, America. Like, and right. this is everything over there is we so also don't much trust more anybody. Relaxed. Everyone's an enemy unless right. they're your friend. Exactly. And let's, <laughs> let's say let's say we went on vacation in Maine. I would say I would if say we met a we couple can, from Canada. Yup. But I would say we would go stay at a hotel somewhere nearby and get together for lunch. Yes. There'd be no staying with. Yeah, no, no. No. Too yeah. Awesome, yeah. Nope. Yeah. No. Absolutely not. Especially with a no. Nope. Yep. No. Okay. So. That's why I was annoyed at this movie. No, you have you have around, a, you have a good like, valid point because that's no... er, that's the argument that people make. Yeah, like, what the fuck? Yeah, so it's I, I think <laughs> for the sake of the movie, it's just that yeah, you have to understand these people don't they can't they're not that's not who they are. Right, yeah. and I mean culture is different over there too. <clears throat> and it's more like it's said. almost to me it's more sad that they don't fight back because if they right. did fight back and lost. At You're like, well, they tried. Yeah. These people don't even have the fight no. in them. So it's even more fuck mean yeah. that these people are just fucking destroying them. Yeah. Well, and what- you're like, wow, like what a fucking evil. Like it's it's unfathomable how evil those two people are. Well, look, yeah. let, let's call it what it is. This is a movie where the villains win. Yeah. Yes. A hundred to nothing. Yeah. You could say that's when, that's that's when you were know. saying before, you were like, oh, so you agree with the villains? And I was like, you know what? Well, you could say that the reason it's the villains win their whole is, thing or here's a couple reasons win. why why like, do the villains win? First up, they're a couple that loves each other deeply. Yep. They love them for and they do this whatever really they are. They communicate thing. probably very well because they're living this life that they're getting away with. They know how to manipulate other people. They work very well together. They have work. a lot of respect he, for each other. They're willing to do whatever it takes. Another thing they get away with. <laughs> yeah, we have trailer. to I yeah, want to talk about that. Whereas this couple, the one that just lets their daughter get taken, doesn't respect each other. Doesn't really love right. each other. They get uncomfortable by the, the 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 couple that's dancing together, showing that they love each other by having PDA, and they don't even they find that they they offensive. found that offensive. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. So I mean, you could say that love won, right? That's true. <laughs> in a <laughs> fucked up way, yeah. <laughs> love and communication wow. and respect well, won out. Yeah, I mean, also, but it's the, like, what is their what, what are they getting out of? A fucking, they probably Sick, have perverse, they some sort of, of fucking like, like, like twisted. It's just, crazy. it's just that power yeah. over other people. Yeah, it's just, it's yeah. It's, 
purely about it's power. So purely scary. about power. Yeah. And the scariest line in the entire movie: "Why are you doing this oh, yeah. to us? Because you let." Them. It's like it's yeah. like the strangers. Yeah, because you were home. home. Because you were home. Because you were home. Because yeah. you out it. You stupid yeah. bitch. And yeah. we never did the strangers. And when he that. says that to him, you can just see Bjorn's face. He's just like, "Yeah, I did. I did let. I did, I did let it happen." There's nothing there's nothing that could be said to me if I were in Bjorn's shoes that would be more defeating than that. It's like that's the thing. Like, that's why they're like, dude, you just kill us. Just let fail. Yeah, just let you it fail as a parent, yeah. fail as a person, you fail as a human being. And because you're weak and powerless and a stupid bitch, <laughs> you let me do this to you. Yeah. So now I have you. You're fucked. You're dead. I'm cutting your daughter's even, tongue out. They don't even take like her and she's gonna be weapon. mine. And then she's gonna God. eventually. No, they she's don't have like a gun around. or anything. She's yeah. got a pair of scissors. Yeah. I was like, they but don't even know that. <laughs> but they're just so the much. They're, they're so, so much more physically just, dominant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because one of the most heart wrenching scenes in that whole movie is at the end when Luis, Luis, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. is in the back seat. And you can tell the daughter's finally getting scared because she doesn't like what's going on. And she's just holding her. And you can tell that Luis knows that something fucking is going on. And she's just so, like, I'm not going to let you go. And it's just so mm -hmm. hard. Yeah, it's really the, because Karen's just like, you fucking, you, I'm mm -hmm. deep. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. when it starts getting yeah. ugly, too, with, like, the yeah. girl crying. And she's like, shut up. Yeah, yeah. that's like, 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 that whole scene yeah. makes Whoa. me just, like, yeah. that's almost more uncomfortable than the final. Because that scene is just. The scene where he. Like, when they get killed, they deserve everything. The, the day that they they come back for the bunny and they get convinced to stay everything kind of flips a switch and everyone's having a good time yeah which is and, weird but then they're still snippy at each other well then it gets bad again yeah and it gets really bad but was not that when they do the dance and he's like throwing yeah 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 but she's also uh, in the Luis, trailer for the american remake by the way Luis is like yeah. cutting vegetables helping prep for dinner and she cuts herself mm -hmm. and in when they're in italy unbelievable patrick yeah. says that he's a doctor mm -hmm. And so they're like, oh, wow. And they show up to his house. And they're like, oh, kind of a small house. They're like, a doctor. A doctor. But yeah. during yeah. that, and he and he's like, oh, Bjorn's like, oh, why don't you have Patrick look at it? He's a doctor. And he immediately goes, I'm not a doctor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, then he says, I don't work. I don't mm -hmm. believe in work. Like, I don't work like, at all. Oh, and I you're like, But then you see what? what? But, then, but like, so you That's get so, so alarming. By so the way, alarming. To interject real quick. Oh, uh, also, another thing given away in the trailer for the American But then movie. in the trailer, he does say he's just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wait, no, but no, you're not, though. Like, unbelievable. Well, I get because ahead. for a second, they say his wife says, oh, well, he gets, you know, uh, he doesn't, he feels like around strangers, he doesn't want them to know that he's not. That's what he said. He's like, which I don't is, want people to think I'm like a Which, Which you get that, but also at the same point, time, wouldn't you, like, once you invite people to your house, maybe, like, say like, something? Hey, just like, by no. the way, you know, I'm not actually yeah. a doctor. I'm right, an outdoorsman. Just, yeah, I'm, I'm like, you know, I, I, I don't know, chop wood on TikTok for fucking, you know, <laughs> Yeah, you would whatever, you would like think something. that a normal because he just so not it's just so like, oh. the way it's just so oh yeah I like but you can see but they that have a whole plan I mean, yeah it, uh, every yeah. single thing they do is calculated because you're because they've done you're it thirty five it's literally they've done it every time a black widow spider dealing with fruit flies right. they are they have no there's no fucking chance and Andrew you're a normal person you're not one of these people so, so that's why you would say oh by the way I'm not a doctor because you're not them which is that's good that's really good i oh, appreciate no, I that because i see you often so it would be weird if you were just to lie about <laughs> random things and like I mean, we all just, lie about I mean, random things but like not like something it would like be that. strange so <laughs> um i lie about like hey did you fart no of course not well uh, so, yeah uh, i didn't fart <laughs> yes that's did you not me i don't even know answer, <laughs> did you fart the answer is usually yes 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 i so I guess to bring the conversation back around, is there enough stuff in this movie before the actual ending, like the big ending, right? To like to to make it worthwhile for a second watch. The music and in the thinking scenes, about it, like I feel like that's my favorite part. The music, that's it. The like, scenes that we've talked about, and then the end. That's it. That's all. That's all I could do. I, I mean, it like could it, be like is a this half movie hour. worth putting yourself through again? No. Is that what you're asking? Kind of, but like it's it just depends, dude. Like there are people like me. Like I clearly I've tried to watch the movie multiple times. I was you watched Henry so like, what, Serial Killer. Like, I love that movie. Twice what, a year. Yeah. What were yeah, so you again, you're the type of person that watches Henry Portrait of Serial Killer multiple times a year. What are you looking for when you rewatch this movie? Depression? Yeah. No, I think it's just I don't know. Like there's like I just kind of want to feel that kind of like stress. 
it's like I just it's it's a different feeling that I don't have to feel every single day. Okay. And sometimes I'm like, I just want to feel something that's gonna make me really feel anxious. Sure. I do I do it's understand. like a roller coaster. I, I do, do you go on a roller coaster? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I love I do get what you're saying because I do like at the end of this movie, like <coughs> as much as I hated it, I was on the edge of my seat and I was yeah. going, Oh Jesus fuck yeah. and it's like yeah. and then when that finally ends and it's over. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're kind of like, oh, that was fun. Yeah. It's like, like watching it's like, Irreversible. Like, <laughs> no, it's, you're... like it's not an enjoyable movie to watch, no. but yeah. it's, it brings you know what? It to, makes you feel to have to just have, you don't feel to feel all something yeah. is nice. Yeah. And when, when, when no, no, no. <laughs> yeah. So what I'm saying I was is trying like, to avoid saying it like that. Yeah. <laughs> when when <laughs> when most movies when most movies you've been so well, I mean we've been dulled to mm-hmm. such a point with horror movies. Yeah. That you don't really like it takes a lot to feel something from yeah. you know why? And when you can finally feel so I it. feel and the second time I watch this, I'm just annoyed the entire way through from beginning to end, including the ending. I was just annoyed. That was me. That was my hot take. The the, the <laughs> most and, and sitting there, like I forgot how long it takes when the two of them are walking down that weird like sand hill or whatever the fuck it is at the end. For that first fucking rock to hit them in the head, because mm. I'm like waiting, in the head and bad. it's just fucking thud. You're like, oh fuck! It's just and like, then it's man, just like yeah. you can tell she's fucking. Done. She's that's mm-hmm. it's done at that point. Oh yeah, yeah, that's a big rock that hits. <laughs> but like, what where, what do they do with these? Does someone come and get the bodies afterwards? Because yeah. they've done this thirty times. They probably eat them. Like, yeah. No, no, they don't. They're well, not they don't that. work. Yeah. What do they do? They don't work, so they eat people. They yeah, eat maybe. people. We don't maybe know they're... that they don't work. Why would they not eat people? No, what they do is they, they probably, probably steal all their money. They steal shit. Yeah, they, they steal, steal all their well, shit, but then they also eat them because they don't have any money. Well, I mean, the money they have from people that they... I don't think they have. Wild but... take. Yeah. Why? <laughs> The, the speak no evil the hills have eyes it's like <laughs> human prosciutto like oh you know, wow you're in italy right uh, no. 20, well no you're in they're Tuscany. In well they're in they Holland. were in they're italy in on italy vacation, on vacation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, toscana yeah so maybe they're doing some like human prosciutto. human leg prosciutto that would be yeah. interesting maybe. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I kind of agree, though, that like, OK, yes, this movie is horrifying and crazy and it's definitely happened before you and that. disturbing. <laughs> but at the end of the day, OK, maybe I need to go touch some grass because you know yeah. what? It is a movie and you are watching a horror movie to feel horrified. And, and you this know what, accomplishes dude? that goal. God right? forbid you open up your mind to understanding that these bad things are possible. Yeah. And it sucks. It's that scary, brings that up all the time. You keep a little true. bit more in your back pocket every yeah. time you watch. Maybe, like, maybe you won't you go look, on vacation and maybe you hang out with people because you, you saw look this where movie. your exits are. Yeah. Maybe you're a smarter a person. Time. Yeah, yeah. So, but also this, like this, kind of reminded me of Hostel a little bit. It's the European. You just vibe. reminded me of Hostel talking about leg prosciutto. <laughs> I, I know. Which yeah. is, you know, that scene. Yeah. That yes. you know who that is. Oh yeah. God. Uh, no. Ooh. That's the director of Cannibal Holocaust. Oh, uh, Rogero Dada. Is that Dada, the guy with Dada, the glasses? Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, he's the guy that's eating mm-hmm. somebody's leg. Yeah. Like when they like kind of pass yes. by. Yeah. Yeah. I think. I, Just a I think fun so. fact. Absolutely. Fun. Fun. But, fun and um, a fact. Very nice. It's yeah, that European kind of not really sure what's going on kind of vibe and weird creepy corners. Yeah. Of, yeah. Like, yeah, absolutely. That's why I was like, it's kind of has that hostile vibe to it yeah. in a weird way. It's not the same scenario. The French, kind of the the French let their children <laughs> drink wine and the Danish like, uh, murder their children and cut their tongues out before that. Well, Dutch. It's more Dutch. Dutch. Sorry, Dutch. Uh, the Danish. The Danes. Yeah. The Dutch. Yeah. The Netherlands. Yeah, to me, this is the most diabolical situation of all time. Yeah. It's, it's literally just killing and stealing children just to do it. Yeah. Like it's just like literally you just sick of your you old can. child. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, oh, I don't know for a new one. You don't get the explanation as to why. And it's just like, you're just left to be like, they just enjoy yeah. doing this. They probably didn't have kids at all. No, God, no, probably not. So, um, yeah, I wonder how they got would, their first There'd be one thing to like hate on this movie in the ending. If the movie sucked and it were a piece of shit, yeah. this is an incredibly well made. Well, that's the thing where you have these kind of like, you look at a movie like Martyrs that is just so fucking miserable and so hard to get through but it's so well made yeah and it's got so much to say Mm -hmm. underneath it all Mm -hmm. that it's like you can't really be like all right well this movie's bad because it's not bad but it's just fucking rough you look at a movie like megan is missing which is going to put you through all this fucking awful bullshit Mm -hmm. and the movie's trash yeah and you're like i have no reason to watch this movie again i have no reason to put myself through that again yeah and because it's bad Martyrs, I'll watch here and there because I'm again. It's just like ah, I could I could watch. And this movie's more. It's not. There's really only a few movies that are just a horror movie. This yeah, Inside was rough. 
That's not a fun Inside. watch. That's the one where the lady's trying to steal the pregnant lady. What's baby. the um? Uh, Megan is missing. You've seen it. Yeah, it's horrible. I. But it's bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so like yeah. it's like a badly oh, made movie. Yeah. It's also absolutely horrific. Yeah, and it's really it's disturbing. Disgusting. Yeah, it's, like it's, that. Yeah. The last like half hour of that movie is disgusting. Is that yeah. next on the list? For no, me? dude, I'm I wouldn't. Kidding. I wouldn't. <laughs> is it that bad? I'm I wouldn't. Honestly, it's, that. it's it's that bad. It's yeah. not. It's not even worth watching. worth watching. It's just that I watched it's that after just a, bad to be bad. Yeah. I, I watched that after a recommendation on um, Colors of the Dark, and I was like, I don't it's like know. If August Underground Mortem. It's just like, dude, like you're just watching these two like. <sighs> fucking dipshits and like i have friends that love those fucking movies they're like big cult movies they're like Sick found footage yeah. yeah but they're disgusting yeah they're putrid movies it's and like it's like dude this isn't serbian even a, film. it's not yeah a serbian <laughs> film again though but like that's a well-made movie it has a lot to say yeah, that that i haven't i haven't seen that i haven't seen you it. hate it yeah i'm sure don't even bother yeah, i would but like Sallow, like 120 Days of Sodom, I own that. I've never watched it. Mm. It's a movie that I know is like the infamous, most fucked up movie of all. Cursed film. You just keep it in your home and hope that nothing bad. We should, we should watch it together. I, eventually, I'm going to watch it. Yeah, it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a Criterion movie, which is fucking crazy. But again, it's just like it's people say it. They're like, it's disgusting. and It's horrible. But it's one of the most important movies ever made. It's about Italian fascists. It's very important. So it's like, OK, like. Whatever, guys, guys, it has a lot to say about. That's the stuff. thing, but that's that's what I mean. Like, and like you look at this movie, and it's like, yeah, dude, it's fucking hard to watch, but it's yeah, it's very good. Like, yeah, it's you know what I mean. Like, it's it's a uh, at least I think so. Like, it's a. This, I know this, you said you got this, this has some stuff to say for sure. Yeah. Yep. But it, I think the message in it is like, a, it's like, don't be a fucking dipshit, mm -hmm. and just like, if you think something's a bad situation, trust your. It's gut. okay to not be fucking nice about it and get yeah. the fuck out of it. Yeah. And yeah. You don't even have to be yeah. rude about it. Like you don't have to be rude. You don't have to. Just be. fucking Irish do, goodbye and get the fuck out yeah. of it. Try. Like twice. Twice. My favorite that's, kind that's, of goodbye is that's, an Irishman. That's that's why that we See know. Him? That's how we know they're not Irish. Uh, yeah, dude. It's the not, easiest it's goodbye you got out. You were out. I feel like as as if you're if you're at a party by yourself. And you feel like something's wrong. It's so much more pressure for you to leave alone rather than you to leave with a friend or with you to leave yeah. with a child. Give me a call. Like hey, the hardest thing is to leave by leave. yourself. Yeah. Like they're easily in the easiest situation where they mm -hmm. can lie about it. As parents, yeah. you lie and you're like, I gotta go because mm -hmm. my kid's doing whatever. And you're like, I just don't want to. I have an here. emergency like, at work. I have to go home. I have to yeah. leave. Like, I have to <clears> do <throat> this today. Like, I gotta go. Like. There's been so many times we've been at parties like when we have Layla with mm -hmm. us and like we're like, all right, like we can leave by four. Mm -hmm. Yep. We'll say and you just say, yep. just, like just, just give her a little, just give her a little pinch on yep. the bum. Not even like, oh, that. It's just like we got to get her home because like we have her on the schedule. Oh, it's a fucking. No, you, know, make, you say something. You're like, I have a kid. I can don't, come no, and go I, with I, her. Yeah, I can do whatever I want. Me. Yeah. It's so easy. Like, it's, yeah. Right underneath. I was like, meanwhile, yeah. though, at for for your birthday party, we were just like, Bridget staying as long as possible. Oh fuck! That's <laughs> right. Hey, you guys, you guys are great. That's by awesome. the way, too. Uh, by the time this episode comes out, uh, it will have actually been Matt's actual no, birthday. No, we're coming birthday. out no, no Saturday's okay. your birthday, right? Yeah. So hopefully this comes out the day before your birthday. We did have your surprise, uh, surprise little birthday party. That was a fucking fun. Yeah, that was sick. Thank was you. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, it was really fun. Oh, thank your parents. We were happy to be a. We just showed up. It was fun. Almost, yeah. almost all of my like really closest friends. There was only a handful that mm. weren't able to make it. So it was, that was a good, good turn. Up. Welcome to the year thirty, you old bitch. You old bitch. You old bitch. So young. Yeah. Uh, guys, want to talk about the year 2022? Oh, I think we've talked about films. much from that year, other than when we no, uh, I'll just up. Uh, there's a lot, yeah, and I'll just run year. through, just give it a cheer or a boo. Ready? Are pretty cool. A wounded fawn, Matthew. I'll take cheer. one. Boo, cheer. boo for me. I don't think I've seen that. It was on so Shutter, uh, yeah. very esoteric it, and strange. Is it still confusing. on? Shutter? Yes, it is. Yeah. Very, very confusing. Oh, I, I kind of love that fucking movie. Um. All Eyes, which is a monster movie about a podcaster, and this was not one of my favorites. I didn't see it. I think I saw that. No. Guys, the first of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is number eight tonight. Beers? Uh, sorry. No, yeah, beers. <laughs> uh, this, uh, Speaking of Evil, is the eighth horror movie from 2022 that we've covered on the podcast. Eight. Wow. Really? Yep. As a yep. full show, as a full show, because oh, we do, we we do try to do like 
new movie. First of which, in alphabetical order, is Barbarian, which I believe was one. your number one from 2011. Ah, I love this right? movie. Yeah, yay. Absolutely. Very, very good. Uh, Dick Breaks. Is we also got Beast with uh, Idris Elba. That's a lion a monster lion movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't see that. Uh, Bodies, 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 which is a Pete Davidson A24 movie. This is good. Yeah? I watched it uh, like a couple months ago. Okay. Uh, when I, It was like one of those times I was sick. And I just was like crushing movies, and I watched it. Yeah. It's it's very like you got to get over the whole like fucking the Pete Gen, Davidson Gen Z like <laughs> slang and everything. But once it gets going, this is a very very enjoyable watch. This is a good. Yeah. Okay. And seemed, Rachel Senate oh. is fucking dope. It seemed so. like a the previews to me seemed like a watered down like talk to me <laughs> thing almost. No, no, it's like it's like a fucking like murder mystery. It's like story. Clue, yeah. yeah. Cat 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 I love it's, Clue. It's really good. You um, probably would love it actually. Yeah. <laughs> Next movie, that. one that what I still bodies 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 bodies, 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 bodies. Yeah, bodies, put it in your bodies, watch bodies. list. Um, one of the movies that I still have not seen from 2022 that I I really still want to see and I don't know why I haven't is um, Bones and All. I oh, still haven't wow. watched that either. Yeah, mm. all right. And I, I start to, to actually kind of like. I might have to throw this like, in as a pick. Kind of like Timothy yeah. Chalamet. I kind of like this movie's so. fucking fantastic. This is the one. Um, who's the villain? It's um, I forget his name, dude. Oh, he's in a bunch of shit though too. I don't know. We'll we'll go this back to that at some point. I keep watching going back. Catherine. Choose or die. I, I know you do. Yes, I absolutely. That also came out in 2022. Um, my worst movie of 2022 when we did our episode was Christmas Bloody Christmas on Shutter. Damn that movie it. sucked I I fucking ass. I don't even know what that is. Yep. Smells. I remember you told me it was bad. So smells real bad. It's like Mike thinks it's bad. It's, it's a it's a movie about an, uh, a murderous <laughs> animatronic Santa Claus, and it managed to be my worst movie of the year. So let's say what say what you will about that. Um, also in 2022, Crimes of the Future, which is a David Cronenberg movie. It was, I, it was not my favorite. Okay, fair. That also was borderline. That's not hard. That's someone with Vigo, right? Yeah, that was yeah. like in like it was Vigo like art, Morton like King. King, like they were growing organs and it was really yeah, it was, it was very heady. It was very kind of uh, hard to understand. Um, speaking of classic horror directors, Dario Argento directed Dark Glasses to Shutter in 2022. I've not seen this. Okay, fair but enough. I heard it's good. Cat movie we saw with uh, Jamie Foxx and Snoop Doggy Dog Day Shift, which is a movie about vampires. Oh, on Netflix. I, I, I liked. It. I, I was like, like I remember liking that, mm-hmm. and until you just said that, <coughs> I forgot about it. So I'd love to watch that again. That would, yep. that would be a good fun movie. movie to see. Fun, fun movie. I like Jamie Fox. Yep. Right now. Me too. Yeah, I like was, Snoop Dogg. Was, have you seen it? No. It's good. I don't want like they clone yeah. Tyrone or whatever. That movie was. Good. Oh, I actually oh, heard that was really good. Too. I love that movie. Um, a movie that was also released to Shutter. Found footage film. Deadstream. Which I kind of enjoyed. It was okay. okay. Yeah, I'm like found footage, that. Evil Dead, it was weird fine. thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, this was the year, guys, that Marvel decided they wanted to dip their uh, ding dong into horror a little bit when they dip released. Um, I like that. Uh, Doctor funny. Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, along with Werewolf by Night, and uh, what else did they have? There was something else. Fuck. Uh, Morbius, which is a movie about a vampire that's an obscure Spider-Man villain with no Spider-Man in it. Oh, I wanted to see Morbius. All of those sucked except for Werewolf by Night, which actually is pretty good. Was was Morbius with Samuel Jackson? uh, No, No, that was uh, Jared Leto. Leto. Yeah, or no, Jared. Sorry, Andrew. Jared Leto. Oh, that was Andrew gets mad. I'm getting. I'm getting. Is it not Jared Leto? I always thought yeah, Andrew. I, I always thought it was Jared. Jared I've only Jared heard Jared Leto. Yeah, okay. I thought you were the one that you says said Jared Leto. Leto. I you said, said I, Leto. No, no. I, I I say Jared Leto. And you get that. Oh, yeah. It's it not Leto. Jared Leto. So yeah, Leto. Uh, um, yeah, Leto so, Shepard. Sa- Sam Shepard. Raimi took a trip into the multiverse and uh, directed a uh, Marvel horror movie, uh, Doctor Strange: The Multiverse of Madness. Not very good. So anyway, Marvel maybe uh, stick to Blade and other stuff. But anyway. Don't Worry Darling, which was the uh, much controversial like Olivia that. Wilde movie yeah, with Harry Styles and Chris terrible. Pine. I like that movie. It was okay. Fine. It was, it was fine. It was fine. Um, guys, another movie we covered on this podcast, the Firestarter remake. Oh, yeah. This was hot. Absolute food. fucking A literal shit. ice cream scoop of food. Now, that was, that ice well, cream why did we do this? Because it was so bad. We were looking for a new release to talk yeah. about, and it was oh, a new yeah, one. So yeah, we didn't, we didn't know anything about nope. it. Nope. Um, and then with we were Zach Efron. Zach Efron is yeah. the worst. Uh-huh. I mean, uh, no. I mean, handsome, but handsome. you know, not a great actor. He looks like a monster now. Uh, we also talked about the Good Night That's Mommy it. American remake I that also came out in 2022. That has Naomi Watts in it. I haven't seen it either. I else. wasn't even really crazy. About what movie? The original. Uh, Good Night Mommy. The original was like okay, it's like yeah. okay, yeah, like it's a weird twist, yep. but you're like, all right. Uh, so 
a movie I really enjoyed, made number 10 on my list at the end of 2022, was uh, Halloween Ends, the third and final film in David Gordon Green's Halloween trilogy. Oh, I didn't trilogy. see that. I, really? I, I hated this movie. I refused okay. to see it. I actually, I actually thought I appreciated that it tried to do something different with the Halloween stories. I get why it didn't land for most people. I liked it. Anyway, uh, Hatching, a fucking oh, yeah, I love that. dope movie. Underrated yeah. gem. Yep, awesome movie. Uh, Catherine? Pocus Pocus 2. It was fine. Yeah, it I was, know. It was good. It was <clears throat> not well, the original. We defer to but... you on all things Hocus Pocus. No, so, yeah. I understand. Yep. I appreciate that. Yes. And... Please don't ever choose another podcast. Excuse me. Um, we already choose. talked about Hocus Pocus 1. So. No, no, I said, yeah. so please don't ever pick Hocus Pocus 2. No, I, okay. I, know, I, I don't know. Do no. Uh, no. Um, <laughs> no, I liked Hocus Pardon. Pocus 2. It was good. Okay. Tanks. Uh, Matthew, who's Sarah the Bone that. Woman? This is good. You saw that too, Andrew, yeah, right? Yeah, heavy. it was. It, it ended up being. I don't know. It was pretty weird. It was. Yeah. Very weird. Very. It's like a Mexican like uh, folklore. Cool. Uh, a couple of these I'll, I'll blow right through here. Uh, Influencer. That was a Shutter movie. I haven't seen it. Uh, Megan, which obviously we talked about. Cat hasn't seen it. I know that. I, I saw it. It was fine. Yeah, it's fine. Fine. It was terrible. Fine. I thought it was fucking stupid. Yeah, that was yeah, one was, of the worst movies I've ever seen. I mean, it was entertaining, at least. No. I, 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 it was disagree. Stupid, <laughs> stupid but entertaining. Um, another movie we covered in this podcast, directed by Alex Garland. Men. Yeah, this movie was nuts. The bane of all evil. Yeah. Yep. That was a theater going experience. The end crazy. of that movie. Holy we, moly, we mother all, of God. We all went together, right? I That's correct. I uh, no, it was separately. Me no, you and Andrew did. went. Yeah, and I remember because the ending scene we saw together, and I, we were uh, all just like, yeah. Yeah. I saw yeah. it with my buddy and his man. wife, and we were like, Oh my god! Yeah, that was interesting. Kind of similar to kind of similar to Speak No Evil, like where people were like, either yeah, just were like, fuck no, fuck no or yes, yeah. on this movie. Oh, it's a very strange movie. Yeah, which is great. That's what I like. Strange movies. Every movie so fucking. It was an A twenty four. Next film. Uh, a Stephen King adaptation that went to Netflix called Mr. Harrigan's Phone. I that is uh, love. I have not oh my watched god! So no, I, I haven't watched, watched it. I haven't seen it. Still haven't seen it. Nope. Please, okay. I thought. Oh no, that's the other phone. The black phone. The black Sorry, phone. That was another movie that came out this year that sucked. Another movie no, that we covered on this podcast. I actually that just. Sucked. I saw TikTok today, which is weird. Mm -hmm. They just came up on for your page, you know. So F with me. And <laughs> <laughs> FYP, I know I like, I like appreciate that. Um, I think he's laughing at you. I don't <laughs> think he's laughing with you. Um, no, but there was actually it was a, a little clip of like the black phone, and it was the kid, the guy, the kid, the, like, and it was the whole thing in like 30 seconds. The kid, the guy, I was like, the kid, the guy, the kid, the guy. Why, why am Sorry, I getting this as phone. my algorithm? I'm like, that's yeah. just weird. I'm like, okay, so it's fine. That's, yeah, that's it's weird. No, it weird shit pops up. One of the best weird, stories I've heard. Weird yeah. shit Thank pops you, up on my FYP Thank you. for sure. Um, yeah. Let's see. Don't fucking cook you. Your eyes I'll are like rip. not even yeah, open. Your eyes are purple. <laughs> 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 They're the color of the wine you're drinking. Jesus I, Christ. The you Cheshire Cat lie? over here. <laughs> Squinty Just eyes. As soon as you started talking about your fucking FYP, I was like, Jesus Christ, are you alive? <laughs> A um, couple I'm ones, real you. quick. My Best Friend's Exorcism. That was a Prime Video release based on a great Hendrix novel. Haven't seen it. Anyone? Bueller? No. no. Okay. Uh, Nocebo. I liked this one. This okay. cool. Andrew? Yay. Nocebo. It was like the no nanny exploitation movie. No. Oh, right. Nocebo. This, no this and a spoonful no, of sugar no were like very uh, similar movies. Didn't see that either. Guys, uh, another movie that we dedicated to. Like Mary Poppins. <laughs> Mary Poppins. <laughs> with LSD. <laughs> Another movie that we dedicated an entire episode to that Andrew, I think, saw three times in theaters nope. would be Jordan Peele's Nope. Oh, you which, looking can. back upon this movie, I still think fucking rocks. They so love that, this movie. That horror's greatest show, mm -hmm. the second episode, does a awesome piece okay. on this Oh, really? Movie. Nice. Yeah. I remember walking... get some flowers. So, mm -hmm. you saw Nope on a Thursday night. Oh, like opening, opening night. night. Yeah. And I saw you in the BBC the next day. And you told me that you were disappointed. I was. And I was like, what? Oh, no. yeah. And oh, the first fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> and the first time I saw it, I was I was like, I was trying not to let your opinion influence me. And I was like, you know what? I felt bad telling you. I'm that disappointed. disappointed. I'm disappointed. Yeah. And then like it was one of those things that just like it got its hooks in me. And I thought about it like 
for the next like two, three days afterwards. I was like, you know what? I think I kind of fucking loved that. I like, liked you it better. Yeah. I, I remember it. we yeah. saw it, and then you took that picture of your fucking umbrella <laughs> upstairs. Yes. And you were like, no, but movie. And I was like, I love that movie. Guys, <laughs> I like it better. Yeah, yeah, I end up seeing yeah. it again. The best, the best stuff still, and I, I do feel like it is like. I haven't watched it in a while. It's probably yeah, his either. most like, uh, like. It's not his best. Movie. It's his most unorganized yeah. movie, right? Because I feel like it's like a couple different ideas mashed together. The Jordies, um, the 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 chimpanzee the stuff, yeah, yeah, whatever. That's the best. Like I love that, that stuff, and I scary. feel like if you yeah. were to give that like its own separate thing, it would be awesome. Anyway, no, we did a whole episode on it way back in 2022. Go listen to it. Matthew Pearl loved it, and X both came out in 2022. I know you're a big Ty West guy. As am I. I enjoyed Pearl more than X. I know X is one of your favorites that year, too. No, Dude, I forgot watched. that. Yeah. Did we do an episode on it? Um, the Devil the, from like 2009 Ty West film. What the fuck was the name of it? The House of the, the, House of the, Devil. the Devil. We did. I yes, forgot we did. about that yep. movie. And I just was reading an article the other day. I was like, I fucking like that movie. That was, like, was great. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. a very good movie. Yep. So Ty West dropping a uh, surprise two movies that year. Guys, another movie we from 2022 we dedicated an entire episode to. Should have never been released right to Hulu. Prey, the Predator movie. Oh, I, really, I liked that movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, it was fantastic. Was awesome. And that would have benefited from it, more of a budget and less terrible CGI if that was on big screens. That CGI bear fight, that bad. the see the bear, the bear attack was terrible. No, but I mean, honestly, it didn't get that much publicity either. Like, no, no. marketing, no nothing. And all of a sudden, nope. it's like, Prey out on Hulu. And I think like, that Predator, was Hulu I, think, I, think, yeah. I think, I think that's why Alien Romulus mm. decided we're not yeah. doing this because they, that. Prey would have done really well. It would have done really well. I mean, not not Alien Romulus. Romulus Alien Romulus has been a huge hit. This would have been, I I would say, like close but not as big. No, this is what are they? Three hundred fourteen. The aliens are better. No, but if Prey went, no, but I mean, if Prey went in the movie theaters, I mean, they'd it'd appeal to like teenage. I mean, that would totally be a whole. It's it's honestly, I think the most refreshing thing about it, right? Obviously, you still have the Predators in it. Awesome, great stuff, and they look as good as ever. The fact that they were able to do like. Like, good as ever, the better, the, good best. As, the <laughs> best. Some would say the best, not me, but uh, I am well, saying the best. Anyway, yeah, right. sorry, yeah, no politics here. Debated, anyway, there was debaters, mass debaters last night. Yes, so let's, mass debaters. I think due to the success of the Prey movie and the new Alien movie, it's Alien just, versus Predator, oh, where we should, we need one. I need no, but one. I was going to say real quick mm-hmm. that um, all horror franchises need to do sometimes is take a step back, look at the whole thing, and just do something different. Yeah. And this movie is just like, okay, we're not going to do muscly commandos against this alien. We're going to put them against a bunch of Native Americans. Commando with like a fucking, fucking 15-year-old awesome. chick. Great. Yeah. Bows and arrows, but with the predator. F- fucking stupid yeah, French and French explorers getting killed by a predator. Awesome. So great. Great idea. That's prey. Uh, guys... We talked about this for best performance in 2022. Uh, Rebecca Hall in Resurrection. Oh man, oh, dude, my this God, movie, fucking fucked up movie. This is one of the best movies yeah. come out in ten years. Yeah, in my opinion, this movie rocks. Yeah, it's very good. Tim I, Roth is he's so so terrifying fucked, in it, dude. I remember saying at the time, I thought that there was one particular scene in Resurrection that was a little bit more disturbing than the ending of Speak No Evil. The <laughs> Let's yeah. just say it. The baby in the oven scene. Yeah, I was like, was no, thank you. That was, the, uh, yeah, that's the terrible. monologue that Rebecca Hall gives mm-hmm. is exceptional. Yep, one of the best written pieces of dialogue in a horror movie yeah. since I can. Remember. She was phenomenal in that movie. Phenomenal. Um, yeah. Another fucked up watch. Tim Roth was really good in that too. That's Tim Roth, great great like Birth Rebirth, Rebirth, which I like that movie a lot. <coughs> uh, real quick, a couple more here. We only had a couple left. A couple big ones, though. Uh, so the first Scream remake came out in 2022. I didn't hate it. I didn't really hate yeah, it. The second either. one, yeah. I mean, it wasn't yeah. great. Was that the one with uh, Ortega? Yes. Yeah. Ortega. From, <laughs> and she's in Prey, right? No. no. Oh, wait. Not to be confused with the salsa. Nope. Ortega. That's a... <laughs> Guys, big movie for a lot of people, but salsa. not for us. Skin a marine. <laughs> Yep. I almost was going to say, don't even bother saying it. Oh, oh, what was the other one? The Outlander? It's like, it's yep. like it was the same Hold on. We'll, we'll keep going here. Uh, uh, Outwaters. Right? Outwaters is 2023. Oh, oh, that's right. Yep. Um, after Skin and Marie in alphabetical order, another movie we did an episode on Smile, which was a big surprise for all Smile. of us. Yeah. Yeah. Even, yeah. Even, we got the number two sequel coming out, coming out this year, which I'm watched, sure will be oh. nowhere near as good. It's, I, well, it's not, it can't, can't well, be. Well, not necessarily. It, very it could be, unlikely it could, that it's it going to be. be. Yeah. It could be. But yeah. I mean, Almost now that you know, how are they going to take it? It's going to be how they take it from now, what you know, 
how are they going to evolve it? If they is it going to be more of a grin? Is it going to be more of a frown, or is it going to be just a smile? Wait, it's smile, frown, sleepy. Like frown, I mean, you can do clown. Like, <laughs> I mean, you oh, can do different emotions about. for the kills. Like, I mean, the emoji movie. Yeah, I, it could be uh, the, the emoji movie the, too. The murder, smile. the murder emoji movie. Uh, the shit emoji. Yeah. Guys, the more and more I go down this list and I see some of these movies, I'm like, this is a really fucking good year for horror. Yeah. Here's a couple back to back. Talk to me and Terrifier 2. Both because bad. they both begin with T, guys. Mm-hmm. They both begin with T. Talk, <laughs> to me, yeah. I, talk to me, I'd go over this movie. Talk to me, yeah. I thought I, was, I, I, thought talk to me was I was awesome. so different, underwhelmed by awesome. Talk to Me. I Very different than again. this movie. Yeah. Talk to Me, so, I thought was fantastic. I know you guys all love you guys loved it. I I thought it was good. It was Terrifier right. yeah. 2. Great oh, case. Terrifier 2 is the same year. Oh, yeah. Terrifier 2 is everything you want Fantastic. in a horror movie. Yeah. Uh, we also I can't to, wait for Terrifier. I can't wait for Terrifier 3. All the Coming Terrifiers, soon. all um, of them. We also wait, got a... You know the one on the um, implement? I'm just terrified. Terrifier on the porch. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, 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 down Cherry yeah, Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If you're heading, yeah, so if you're heading that's from where I used place, to, that, That's like over where I used to live. Yeah. Oh, I see it all the time, yeah. The Terrifier yeah. on the porch on Cherry Street, yeah. Art's hanging out there. I was like, America's hometown. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Guys, Sorry. we also got a uh, straight to Netflix Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, leg- legacy sequel with Gosh, Sally yeah. Hardesty in it, which was uh, terrible. That's the one with yeah. Levitch, a leather fa- a leather face, leather face killing the all of the influencers on the bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You made me so upset. Just so canceled, bro. Oh, he just mows them all down. Kind of satisfying, but terrible. So sad. Guys, another terrible movie that we dedicated an episode to: The Black Phone. What a disappointment! Like oh, it. such disappointment. Wait, no, no, I liked Black Phone, but that's fine. That's you did. I remember you. You did like it. I do. Yeah. I do. I saw that, and I just what? it was weird for on my TikTok uh, FYP mm-hmm. uh, today. So <laughs> I it, you uh, already told the story. No, no, no. <laughs> I probably did actually. It was about the black phone. Yes, yeah. I did. All right. So Shut continue. up. You can cut this all out. I'm just <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Continue. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep on. Um, Roll one off. of the most underrated movies of the year that I actually saw before we recorded our top ten might have made it. The Menu with Ray Fiennes. Yeah, oh my God, The Menu. Great. And Anya Taylor Joy, uh, oh. Andrew's girlfriend. The menu uh, is no. so good. No, no, you're off her now. She turned into a praying mantis. I don't know what the fuck. What? Uh, she yeah, looks like right. a monster. Now. So you're off. Now? Yeah, too much okay. fucking work done. Uh, let's Just see. We also fucking. got uh, Rob the Zombies, awesome, Wait, The Monsters. Was, Never seen it. Was Bradley Cooper in the menu? No. No. Oh no. Nick, it was, uh, uh, it was no, Nicholas. Uh, right. Nicholas Holt. Yeah. I know. Never mind. The Monsters. Bradley Cooper was in Burn. That's correct. Sorry. Yes, Burnt. a little different. I know. Thank you. Good movie though. I like Burnt. Good movie. It's a great movie. Good movie. Yeah. I actually like Burnt. That's a good movie. Um, let's see. Yeah. So Rob Zombie's The Monsters, which I still have not carved out. Time I'm all to set watch. with Rob Zombie. He can just f yeah. off at this man. He's such a uh, fucking weirdo. Anybody else see speaking of Netflix on uh, the Pale Blue Eye? This is the one with Christian Bale, no. uh, Poe, when um, he was in the Netflix uh, military. Movie gives it. Give it to me to watch because I, I will watch. It. I don't know that you would like this movie to be honest. It's a murder you are, mystery, like Netflix yeah. horror quality control. You, actually, you yeah. might, you might, you might. So it's Christian Bale. I like Christian Bale. And somebody portraying Edgar Allan Poe. Do you know why I like Christian Bale? Before he I was really the like the TikToks yeah. of the cats that have the little Batman mask. The Batman t- cat TikToks, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Instead of like mew 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 mew, 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 then you go. We're TikTok. losing everybody. We're sorry, losing everybody. I'm, sorry, sorry. I'm lost. That's <laughs> all right. All right, last movie, guys. By the way, VHS ninety nine, dope, fucking awesome. Yeah, you don't need good. me to tell you how sick. much I love the v- the sci fi one, uh, VHS Ooh. Beyond. I'm all the, all the way the fuck. You don't need me to tell you that. I love VHS movies. I've written about it. I've talked about yeah. it on the show. Yep. And uh, we already talked about X. That's the last one I have. An alphabetical order. Um, guys, are we about uh, through with this podcast I adventure this evening? Yeah. Uh, okay. We're hitting we about, about, about cool. 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 Yeah, No, we've been, this has been fun, though. Oh, it's been very yeah. fun. It has been fun. We it's have very, all been Sometimes together, when I look at, when like I look at the timer and I'm like, wow, we've been going for a really long time. We've just been talking about absolutely well, nothing. I feel like we chatting. covered a lot. We today. did, actually. We did talk about a lot of nothing, though, too. We did. We did. But it was an informative and fun and laugh-filled fucking It's a podcast about nothing. Well, let's say goodbye to our audience. It's like an an episode of Seinfeld with also four idiots, three men and one woman, and uh, yeah, yeah. This would be like this would be like listening to I was watching to be one, two, three. It's like like four episodes of Seinfeld, five actually. Not really, not right now. Night, night, everybody. Anyway, so anyway, this has been another episode of America's Hometown Horror. Thanks so much for listening. We appreciate it. Sorry for the ramblings. Hope you enjoyed and laughed as much as we did. I had some fun recording it. My name is Mike. I've been joined by Andrew, Kat, and Matthew, and um, you'll be seeing a lot of us. 
if you're in Plymouth at the hometown Hollins and Hops Horror Convention, trivia, what have you, or if you're not in the Plymouth area, just come back and listen to us in the podcast. We do it every week. We appreciate you coming back. Thanks so much, guys. Lady and gentlemen, say goodbye to everyone that might be listening. Adios, Goodbye. Muchachos. Come to the horror convention next yeah. week. Yeah. They smell you. Yeah, come to Hold Down Haunts and Hops. Come to, uh, come to and Trivia Hops. next Thursday. And Trivia at Mayflower Brewing Company. And Woo, trivia. FYP. Woo. All the things and screens and whatever and all the... We're doing it all. all doing it all. all doing it all. We're doing it all. Leave okay. us a voicemail, too. Okay, bye. <laughs>